Good morning and welcome to Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld live from the Kummerfelder Sports Verein in the north of Germany here if you're, if you're unfamiliar with the area it's about 30 minutes north of Hamburg the big harbour city here my name's James Cand. I'm joined here today by Andrew Wembridge. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Very good morning to you, James. Yes, so today's first matchup is the home team and winners of the Hanover hitout two weeks ago, KSV, captained by Isatola de Volzai. They'll be up against Polizei Sportsverein Hanmunden, or PSV for short. KSV winning the toss earlier, electing to bat. So we're just a couple of minutes away from beginning this match. Do stick with us and we'll just welcome our viewers on YouTube on the European Cricket Network. If you're viewing this on fan code in the India and the Asian continent. And also to our viewers in the UK watching this live and free on Free Sport. Right, welcome back. So, opening the batting today for Kumafauta Sports Line will be Shoab Azam and Syed Sajad. Opening bowler is the skipper. Oh no, it's not the skipper, he's changed. The opening bowler will be Awal oh, Safi. Thoughts on the game, Wimbo? your first time doing a T10 commentary? Uh, positive signs here at uh, Kummerfeld Sport for Ryan. This uh, outfield is in magnificent condition. Beautiful sunny morning. Um, probably a good decision there by Kummerfeld to bat after winning the toss. Fortunate toss to bat. Yeah, a little bit of dew on the outfield this morning, but it should dry up pretty quick. There's a strong breeze coming across the ground. Not much cloud in the sky, very fast outfield. This one that gets mowing most nights as the first ball is about to begin. This one, a bit short and wide, best one has a swing and doesn't connect at all. Dot ball. A lot of energy out in the field there. Safi just pushing that first ball a little wide, taking one ball to get his line. As he charges in again. And this is another whitish ball. It has been called a wide outside the off stump. There's a bit of a half hearted slash. Yeah, no, you can see no that one just slightly outside the wide lines here. A bit of a way movement. Just trying to get that. Usually a pretty useful line outside the off stump. This one just a little bit wide. Safi charging in again. 
It's another ball outside the offside. It's just within the tram lines this time. Another wild slash. Yeah. It's through to the keeper for no run. Good delivery there. It's two dots in the first over. Dot balls in this format are very valuable. Especially when the batsman's not getting any bat onto it. Can't even defend those ones. Safi in again. It's another ball wide in the offside. It's been slashed over cover and runs into the boundary line for four runs. Finally connecting with one of those outside off stump. So that's the first boundary of the match for Kumuk. Suffy charging it again. It's a it's a leg side delivery which just happens to clip the pads there, but no real shot off it. it spills off the keeper collects it, there's no run. Show a bazam on strike. Safi in again. And it's a straighter delivery. It's sort of been plonked over the bowler's head. And in fact, it was a six there. So a very good start in this over with already a, a four and a six conceded. As we welcome a very good morning to Hamid Pavadak. Good morning, Hamid. Good morning, Andrew, and good morning to all our viewers. Nice start here for the KSV. Duffy again. It's a straighter ball and it's been, he's got through there. It was an attempted pull and he's been clean bowled. By the reaction of the batsman, it looks like if, if, if the ball has stayed a bit low. Oh, what a start here. First over, four, six and... Whether it was clean bowled or there was actually an edge, we'll, we'll see here in the replay. Yeah, it appeared to be clean bowled, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and quite right there, Hamid. Uh, the ball not quite getting the as up as high as he may have wanted. Yeah. He's tempting that pull shot. Was supposed to be around his waist, at least what he was expecting. <laughs> so, the second over is about to start. The captain from PSV is about to bowl the first ball of the second over. It's Amin bowling. Oh, he's got a wicket inside edge onto his stumps. Wicket number two. Two and two balls there. Sadat was an inside edge by the, by the look of it. Uh, back under his stumps. That's going to be very disappointing for him. All of a sudden, from a very good start, it's looking like to be a tumbling start, isn't it, Andrew? Well, this is action-packed T10 cricket. And we've just seen two wickets bowled in two balls. Sultan is the new batsman, German under 19 captain. Middle. Very talented lad. He's quite good with the ball as well. Quite nippy. 
So here he goes. Come on, easy. So the town will get off the mark. Very good start to his over. Wicket and now single. Suleiman Kaka to face his first delivery. I mean Zadran charging in. It's, uh, it's an uppish delivery. It hey, bounced a little more. They've scanned right, through for a single. A shy at the stumps was unsuccessful. They'll take ball. the one run. Let the old go. Let the old go. Good morning. Good morning. Having some some su surprises in it. That one seems to be bouncing a little more than what the batsman was expecting. So now it's Sultan on strike to Amin. It's another ball that seemed to jump up a little more than he expected. Uh, a sort of on the leg side, popped it up in the air, and there's no run. I think there should be some moisture underneath the pitch. There have been a couple of drizzles last night. Zadran charges in again. And this is a fuller ball. It's yes, yes. it's been caught at gully. Goodness, it attempted straight drive. It's uh, come off almost perpendicular to the bat. And that is Quite the end of Sultan Shahzad Shah. Quite an innovative wicket celebration. Three wickets down already, looking in real yeah, trouble here. Come on, come on, in just the second come over. On, New batter into the crease is Zayed. Zayed, Middle. as he's Bye. taking his guard. He's a very handy wicket keeper and he played for the Northern Seals a couple of seasons. Obviously very handy with the bat as well. So, I'm mean to Zayed now. Oh, well ball, well ball, well ball, yeah. Ball? Well ball, I mean. I mean had a very successful over. That would be a dream over in a T10 game. Good hour, I mean. Good hour, good hour, come on. End of the second over there. 13 runs for the loss of three wickets. Really, all, all happening here already. Only two overs into this match. It'll be Awal Safi to continue. No, it won't. It's been a bowling change. The new bowler is Zahir, a left armer. He'll definitely swing the ball into the batter. He's swapped from Göttingen to PSV this, se this season. He's also quite a handy bowler. And he swings the ball in quite late. So let's see if he gets some movement. Jamal in. 
It's a straight ball. It's been plonked straight back over his head. First ball. And that's six runs. That's not the ideal start for a bowler. It seemed to be reasonably straight, well pitched. But unfortunately for him, Zadat put it away. If he can get his revenge. Steaming in again. Yes, it's just outside the off stump. It's been yes, come on, easy plonked, out. for lack of a better word, toward mid wicket. Come on, nice camper through for a single. Come on, come on. So it will be Zayed facing his second ball. Jamali in again. It's clean bowled. Straight, full, and gets his reward. As they say, you miss a hit. It was a straight delivery onto the stumps. Batsman would cross the line and the bowler at the last lap. Syed Hassan will be very disappointed with his performance there. Really trying to play across the line for what was a delivery which did not deserve a cross bat shot. And he's paid the ultimate price. Four wickets down now for the Kumafalch board for Ryan. I think the idea of playing a T10 match is getting into the head, heads of these batsmen. Well, fast scoring is of course paramount. However, there are still 10 overs and we're only in the third over. And any team losing four wickets the next batter in is Isla Dalat Zai. He would definitely try and make sure that they'll have a good good score on the board. Isla Dalat Zai is an international cricketer, ex-international Afghanistan cricketer. He's played in a T20 World Cup as well. It's a sensible start to his inning, just playing that one down in the direction of point. Happy to concede a dot ball. If Izzatullah got in, um, he can definitely use a long handle. He's used to this pitch, so he would know exactly how the pitch is going to play. Oh, but by the looks of it, he's having some kind of an injury. So he's, he's played the ball straight onto his toe and he's hurt himself. They're looking for ice spray. Well, he must have hit that into his toe with considerable force to cause such a reaction. Or maybe he's shaking it out. It looks like they'll continue without any medical intervention. They definitely don't want him to be injured. He's one of their very key players with the ball as well as with the bat. Jamali again. That's. Oh, that nipped away, didn't that? It's nipped away. It's sort of pitch middle and off stump. Off the seam, passes by the bat outside the off stump. A very good delivery to receive your second ball. Oh, definitely. A nice seam position on that one. He did appear to be clipping it onto the leg side. I'm not sure if the. The direction of the seeming ball. I think it was just the instinct taking over, trying to play a straight ball, which nipped away from him. Jamali again. It's another ball which really nips just outside the off stump there. Is it all really appearing surprised with those last two balls, and that's the end of the over. Yeah, four wickets down, with just three overs bowled. I think PSV is really enjoying what this pitch is offering them. A 
It's a wonderful start, getting three wickets. And not going for that many runs. It will be Safi bowling the fourth over. Kakar on strike, having a look around the field, looking for any gaps, wherever they may be. And a chance to get the Kummerfeld sport for Ryan innings back. Sophie is the quickest bowler from PSV. He's charging again there. Yes, 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 yes. A ball which hits him on the pad, clearly outside leg. There is quite a shout in any case, and they scamper through for... Was that a run there, Hamid? It was a leg by. One leg by. Really quite an over enthusiastic, <laughs> enthusiastic appeal there for. I think they're looking pretty excited and full of energy at the moment. <laughs> Safi just taking a moment. Get everything in order as he steams in again. And this ball's straight, pitching off stump. It's trotted away toward point and cover. They scamper through for a single. That did surprise Izzatola a bit. I think that nipped in on him with some pace. As I said, Safi is the quickest bowler from PSV. So he will be clocking around 80 miles. For our European viewers, Hamid, 100 and 125 to Ooh, 28. That's been pulled four runs off the hip. A lovely stroke there. Suleiman Kaka effortlessly using the pace of the ball and bounce. Perfect timing. And a four behind square. Safi comes in again. This is a straighter ball. It's been hit beyond covers. Picked up by the sweeper. Take one run. Very forcefully played. I think. And they want to score a bit quickly now from here on. Especially Kaka. Safi again. This is another ball just outside off stump. It's been hit for a cover. They take a single. They'll turn around. They will get a second. There's some fairly theatrical fielding which has involved the ball spilling. No, there's been an umpiring correction. Come on, good balling, good balling, good balling, no one. The fielder out in the deep there appeared to knock the ball further on, but he was lucky. He didn't knock it over the boundary. They'll take two. And Izzatullah will continue. There'll be two more runs to Izzatullah. I think a nice steady start for him will mean that in the last three or four was he'll make sure that he score over at over 200. Strike rate of over 200. Again, this is clipped his back in that. This has been clipped down leg side. There's no run. Quite that's the end of the over. appeal again. Zahir Khan calling his second and the last over for him in this match. 
On strike will be Cocker. Khan charging in, left arm over the wicket. It's been effortlessly hit through the covers off the back foot, and that's four runs. That was very well watched into his bat rather than smashing the ladder of the ball. I think that's what it's all about watching the ball and placing it on its merits right now. It's a big difference between playing every ball on its merits. Khan in again. This one's just outside the off stump. It's not particularly well timed, it just bounces back down the bowler. And there's no run. Yes, I mean, you mentioned playing a ball on its merits. It's real. Observes the real difference. Timing and placing a ball based on where it pitches rather than trying to hit over cow corner. Yeah, especially if the wicket's not there. Khan in again. This one's also straight back to the bowler. Didn't quite time that either. And it's another dot ball. So here relies more on his skills with seam and swing rather than the pace. Khan in, and this one's a little short, and there really is little room for short bowling here as there's another pull shot. Not quite timed as nicely as the one in the previous over, but it's four runs all the same. Second boundary off the over. So, it's a good over so far for KSV. Thirty-seven for four. <laughs> two balls remaining in this over. And that's a yes, yes. straight hit. <laughs> to long on. They'll just take a single. Good fielding, good fielding. Perfect line, making the batsman hit straight down the ground. So that's the longest boundary on this ground. Khan again. This one's very straight, it's low, it's LBW given. Again, expecting a little more bounce, looking to get a third pull shot away. This one didn't go anywhere. It hit him in the lower pad. The umpire had no choice. That is a very big wicket. That is the wicket of Izzatullah Dalakzai. There he is, just trying to pull that away, really expecting more bounce. It's hit him just below the knee roll. I think he knew at the moment he missed it. Umpire's finger go up. And we have five wickets down. After five overs. The new batsman is Asad, is getting some advice from Izzatullah Dawlatzai, who is unfortunately for case V been dismissed. I think the advice may be something along the lines of play the short ball, beware the shorter ball which doesn't quite get the, the height you're expecting. I think the advice should be at the moment just watch the ball because you never know if it's going to stay low or bounce too high. Nazir, Nazir is starting the new over and pulled back. Nader is marking his run up again. And it's Kaka on strike. Kaka has been there for a while. I think he will be the one. Sure. And it's outside off stump. It's been slashed at. The finger has been raised. It's been caught behind in any or given caught behind out in any case. A real slash there. Big appeal. 
And he's struck with his very first ball. It's a good start again. The over. The new batsman is offside. As Kaka is being given out, caught behind. Afzal. Rizwan Afzal is the new batsman. There might be only 10 overs, but he'll really need to play sensibly here to give Kumafel the chance of playing their 10 allotted overs. Suleiman Kaka has scored 22 of 12. Let's see how Nader goes here. Like the rest of his over. Well, Manny. And again, and this is a straightish delivery. He's hit straight up in the air. The keeper may even take this. It was high, and the keeper has indeed taken a catch. This really is a concern. He wanted to get that ball up high and away at any cost. It wasn't the right ball for it. In any case, it certainly wasn't the correct stroke. It's gone right up in the air like a tennis lob, and the keeper's with a little difficulty, eventually taken that. And that's the end of Kaka. Afzal. So Afzal is also gone. First ball that he's faced. And now there's having a very good start into his over. Two wickets already. Is he on a hat trick? Nadakan Ramani. I think Nader is on a hat trick, isn't he? It's been two and two balls. Yeah, it's a hat trick ball. Hat trick delivery. Asad will face his first ball, a hat trick ball. It's, it's a full one. Full one on the stumps. Excellent hat trick delivery. Foolish, slowish, pitch middle and off. That's where you want to bowl if you're on a hat trick. Asad just put his bat onto the ball at the right time. It's a harsh delivery to face if it's the first ball off your innings. Romani again. This is another short ball. This one did get some height. This one has been pulled to the boundary. And it's four to the total. Asad Davutkel will be very happy with that. A little bit of relief to get off the mark with what looked like an effortless four. Played the ball on its merits. The timing. My dear Khan Romani, continuing. And this is another full yeah, ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pitch middle and off. They've yeah, 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 yeah. taken a single with yeah, yeah, yeah. the ball spilling down to mid wicket. The new batsman is Safi. Safiola. Safiola Safi. Money charging in. And this is outside the off stump. Very agricultural shot there, looking to put that over mid wicket. It was well outside the off stump. He's missed. There's no run, and that's the end of the sixth over. Yet another good over for PSV. Conceding a boundary, and taking two wickets. Oh. The new bowler is Mustafa. Gulray is Mustafa, is the new bowler. He's also gathered some experience playing in the north. Used to be a key cricketer, key batsman for Göttingen University cricket team. It's 
uh, Mustafa will be bowling to Assad. Assad's hit a boundary with the second ball of his innings. So he will be feeling confident. I'm back. I think there is a spongy bounce around the good length area. Right, left. Right here, left here. The Pulitzer spot for Ain have seen good success with the, the quicker bowler, but we'll see how the change of pace fares with Mustafa. Oh, that's a freebie. That's been hit for a six. Come on, good come shot on, by Mustafa Assad. Bay, Watched it very nicely to his bat. Shaba, shaba, Mustafa, bay. Mustafa, bay, come on. Mustafa will be very disappointed with his first delivery there. Perhaps we all deserve a loosener, but in this case, there was no quarter given. It did not pitch. And swatted into Abba the Mustafa fence. Mustafa Mustafa Mustafa, come on, boy! Nets, rather, for a big six. Can he regain now? Mustafa again, bowling very wide from the wicket, yeah, outside yeah, yeah, the off stump. It's been clobbered yeah, 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 somewhere yeah. between mid-wicket and mid-on. They'll take a single. I think that's the cow corner. Also a very long boundary there. So the plan for Mustafa is, I think, to make the batsman hit into that cow corner it in the air. He comes in again, again from very wide, it's a short delivery, it's been just clipped down, they'll scramble through for a single as the throw came in from fine leg, they make it comfortably in the end, although the bails came off. Good rotation of the strike for a quicker, dartier, yet shorter ball. So he's using all his varieties. Six one and one, six one and one so far off the over. Mustafa in again. It's, okay. it's a clean bowl. He's got one to stay straight, stay low. And the batsman played all around that. Six one one and wicket. Really showing how bowlers will be rewarded with straight full bowling. That seemed to be an arm ball. Look at it again. Around good area. Yes, it's pitched leg and middle and really swept straight through everybody. The batsman. So that's the end of the innings for Assad. Hit a four and a six. Well ball, well ball, well ball. Masood is a new batsman. Batting at number 10. Well ball, well ball, come on, Mustafa Bay, come on! Yes, I can hear. Yes, just the two wickets left in hand here for KSV. So this over, it's I'm been bad. a six, single, I'm single, bad. and a wicket. Let's see where Mustafa will bowl his first ball to this batsman it's a oh ball and he's got a second bowl two in two wickets another straightish ball this one looped a little more a little more my goodness flight and he's taken two in two balls KSV down to their very last wicket and it really is looking so, the new batsman is Sharu. German international women's cricketer. Shower is new for KSV. Will be quite a big experience. Also a very historical moment for the European Cricket Series, Dream 11 European Cricket Series. The very first Shabba, ever Shabba, female Shabba, cricketer Shabba, to play. So well done to Shahru, well done to KSV for giving the opportunity. And uh, she also plays for the German national team as a keeper herself. So it's good to see. She will be facing a very important ball as this will be the second opportunity for the bowler to get a hat trick. Very first game of ECS North Germany. So it'll be Sharu facing Mustafa. 
bowling his hat trick ball. As he comes in wide from the crease again, Sharu just lets that down. It's not as straight as the other delivery. It's, it's I believe, padded away down the leg side. It's been caught a, wall, a wide, in fact, two wides, two to the total. So two wides for the hat trick delivery from Mustafa. So Sharu will be using her experience from international cricket here to put on a good total for KSV on the board. Mustafa again. This is a loopier ball outside the off stump. Sharu takes off, but she will get back in time. It's backed up nicely, no chance for an overthrow. And that's the end of the over. Quite a good one from it from Mustafa. Nine wickets down for Kummerfeld. It's Amin, I think, who is going to bowl. Silver. Nadia Khan Ramadi coming back to bowl his second over. This being the eighth over. Sharu on strike. Should be looking to get off the mark. As Ramadi steams in. This is a full ball. It's defended nicely back down the pitch. They won't get a run. Played very nicely with a straight bat by Sharu. Another one of those straight balls that any mistake from the batsman will be fatal. As it has already been mentioned, Sharu is German international women's wicket keeper. Ramadi again outside off stump. Sharu just prods at that. No connection, no run. The first woman ever to play in an ECS tournament. Sharu trying to help out her team from a crisis kind of a situation. As Ramadi charges in. This one's a straight ball again. It's easy, just easy, easy. Keep on, keep on. defended to mid wicket. Sharu watching the ball very well. Certainly watching the ball a lot better than. Some of the other batsmen in the team. That's where the international experience comes into play. It certainly does. Ramani in again. This is just outside the off stump. There's a play and a miss. Looking to drive through covers. Doesn't quite make the connection. And there's no run. The idea was right. As there is no sweep on the offside. She was aiming that short boundary on the offside. Fortunately, couldn't connect. Ramani in again. This is a straighter ball. And yes, 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 it's laid back down the wicket. Sharu runs through. It's a direct hit. Unfortunately, that's a run out. And that's it for the Kummerfeld Spart Verein. Sharu run out without score. KSV will be defending 53 runs. Unable to use. Their 10 allotted overs, <laughs> leaving PSV a target of 54 and a target run rate of 5.4 and over. I'll be very much excited and interested to see how the KSV bowlers go on this pitch. Because compared to PSV, they are having a lot of pace to offer. We have already said Isatullah Dalatzai and Sultan. They are both very quick.
Quite a dire looking scorecard there for Kummerfeld with Said Sadat, Syed Hassan, Red Sen Afsal, Masoud Doskel, and Sharu being dismissed for Ducks. Suleiman is the top scorer, scoring 22 of 12 balls. Suleiman Kakar, that is, hitting three boundaries in a six. Sultan Zaid, Izzatullah Dawlat Zai missed out. A very big, very big wicket there for the Politeis board for Ryan. Catching Izzatullah for a mere three. Very valuable wicket, really could have gone anyway. Case V is winner of the Bundesliga 2019. So skill wise, they are fully packed. They have everything on offer. From spin to fast bowling and some experienced batsmen. Well Hamid, there's certainly no shortage of talent in that squad. Um, as you touched on before, I think one of the key elements here is indeed how you mentioned playing every ball on its merits. There really were a lot of Swipes across the line, attempts to hit over mid wicket, attempts to hit on the leg side where the ball really didn't offer that sort of opportunity. Yeah, I think you're right on that, but sometimes the idea of playing a T10 might get into your head and you might try to hit boundaries or shots which are not there. Obviously, the pitch plays a big part in every game, irrelevant of the format. Well, I can certainly understand looking to hit more aerial strokes with the sort of ground with perhaps not the lush, fine cropped outfield as we have here at the Kummerfeld Sport for Ryan, but it's been proven there are. A lot of strokes, a lot of runs to be made along this ground. The ball will run true. The ball is not going to be held up on this pristine surface. Yeah, I think the pitch will ease up as well as the day goes on. But for the batsmen looking to hit the ball along the ground, uh, there are plenty of opportunities with, with such a fast outfield. It's a matter of timing. see if the policy spot for Ryan are able to capitalize on that. Play to resume here in around about eight or nine minutes with Kummerfeld out on the field just warming up their shoulders, elbows, backs, avoiding any injury in the field. It would appear that Izzatullah's toe is not causing him any great grief now, which is good news for the very talented all-rounder, an international player.
Ich bin der So this is a stump, I mean, so this is a stump mic.
Just about to get back underway here at the Kummerfeld spot for Ryan. PSV heading out with Gurais Mustafa and the non striker Assad Sangari. Sultan Shah to open the bowling attack. Quite a magnificent bowling run up there. Candidate for the 100 metre sprint. See the umpires with the disinfectant, regularly disinfecting the ball to prevent any spread of infection. Sultan Shah will be looking to carve through this batting lineup as PSV were able to do to KSV. With only 5.4 runs and over, we'll be throwing everything they can at them. And we're just moments away from, from play restarting. Plenty of wind developing there, as you can see. The batsmen want to take that into account when considering any aerial strokes. So the wicket keeper is German women's national team wicket keeper Sharu. And in the slip standing Zaid, who's also a wicket keeper. So they'll be sharing some experience. Here's a little Adaulat Zai is on the screen. We'll start with Sultan. Sultan charging in. It's a quick ball, it's short, it does not get much bounce. It's snuck just outside the off stump. There's no run. The batsman looking a little perplexed. Wondering why that didn't quite make its way up near his rib cage. Didn't get his bat on it, but very lucky it just snuck outside the off stump. A very dodgy one. He should consider himself lucky that the ball didn't go on and hit his thumb. Sultan Shah. In again off that long run up, and this one's also short, that's straighter, and he does. Mustafa does manage to get the bat onto it. Again, the ball not reaching that height around his hips that he would be expecting for a pull shot. Sultan Shah is the captain of German under 19 team. Next year, he'll see the captain, and he'll be representing Germany. Charging in again, and this is a shorter ball which does rise with an attempted defensive stroke. Quite wise really given the, the two previous balls skidding through. This one has bounced, this one has passed by the batsman around his rib cage, or maybe a little lower. That was a nice take by Sharu. Have to mention it's not easy to keep the wickets on such a wicket where the ball stays low and sometimes it bounces high. Sultan again. This is another short ball. It's cut through point. Rather a backward point there. The third man picks up the ball, has it back into the keeper. Uh, beg your pardon. Uh, to the fine leg who's come up, and there's a single. So 
Michael Tansha running in to ball to Asad. This is a straight through there. It was another just short of length this time. This one did not bounce up near the rib cage, and again we've seen another expectation of a ball rising. This one on the stumps, no second chance, an attempted pull. And that is the end. I think he definitely beat him by the pace. It was way too quick for him. Hit the Asad. top of the stumps. Asad Sangari. He's very disappointed with that. With what was his first ball. New batsman. Is Imran Hafiz. Imran Hafiz is a new batter. He'll be looking to just calm things down. Small total. Under six to get an over. Sultan Shah running in, making sure that he balls with all that his pace that he's and that he has to offer. And here he is again, Sultan Shah, looking to bowl it straight. This one's just outside the off stump. This has bounced a little more than the previous ball. It's plotted down to short cover, and there's no run. It's the end of the first over. One wicket, one run. Is it a dollar die ball in the second over? I am very much excited to watch this over. He is one of the German internationals playing for the German international team and opening with a new ball for the Germans as well. He is one of the quickest bowlers that we have here in Germany. And as we all know, he's played international cricket for Afghanistan as well. So here we go. Is it Zai? First ball. As he steams in, and this one's a nice hit swinger, but it was a no ball. And a free hit. Getting some good in in swinging shape, although overstepping it would appear. That really is an opportunity here for Guraz Mustafa to make the most of a is a taller ball without the chance of a wicket. As he steams in for the free hit, and he's attempted to hit a reasonably straight ball. To cow corner, no real chance of connecting there, and it's a dot ball, waste of a free hit. He'll be disappointed. Stood back in his crease to get some extra height, and was unable to capitalise. Yeah, that's what I'll say. To ball. To Mr. Fox. And that's plonked up in the air. It's caught at third man. It was an. Oh, goodness, it was a shortish ball out to the off stump. He's just fished out there with a horizontal bat uh, without any particular direction except straight down the throat of the third man. And Safula. Next time, next time, Shubai. Shub has caught that one. I beg Mustafa. Your Mustafa has been very disappointed. Yeah, Mustafa has got out. He was actually using the pace of the bowler but seems to be not hitting it in the middle of his bat and Isatullah Daladzai has got the first wicket of his tail new batsman in Adil Ahmed Adil is also a very experienced cricketer played a lot in North Germany he has a lot of Bundesliga experience and his team will be relying on him actually PSV has lost two quick wickets in the first two overs so it's a similar kind of a start to KSV as Izzy steams in and this ball's a straightish ball it does get a bit of bounce it's 
just defended off the back foot down the pitch. There was no run. All the fielders are staying on their toes. There's a lot of energy to feel on the field. KSV being one of the top cricket clubs in Germany. Here you go with Isidro Dalatai. Oh, that will be a wicket for him again. Caught behind, a nice catch by Sharu. He was even walking. Bit of controversy there as to whether that's whether that's come off the face of the bat and been caught behind. The umpires just discussing. It certainly appeared from the commentary desk as if that had glanced the the very top face of the bat. I think it hit his gloves. Okay, he was outside of the crease then. And now there appears to be an, uh, an appeal for a stumping. In any case, a wonderful catch there by the talented wicketkeeper, Sharu. Watch the ball all the way into her gloves. And now we'll see whether she's been rewarded for it. He should not leave the crease, man. going on for the run out. So they have attempted to run out. Here was the ball again. It was short of a length. It's got some real bounce. It appears to have come straight off the glove from the replay. Sharu taking a wonderful catch there. The batsman appearing to walk, leaving his crease. And this not being immediately given. Discussions continuing. No, he didn't do you, you came here. You came here. We did that already. As we see the replay again, that ball, yeah, it's very clearly deviating off the left glove there and comfortably taken. However, whether that was able to be identified by the umpires without the, without the assistance of any... I think they are discussing this run-out attempt. The question is if the ball was dead or not, because the umpire was discussing the caught behind. At the same time, there was a run-out attempt made. Well, it looks as though that's been... Negated, it'll be a dot ball and Isatula will continue. Very fortunate there for the batsman. Very unfortunate for Sharu and Isatula, obviously. But that's how the game of cricket is. Sometimes you can be a bit unlucky. Yeah, that would have been Sharu's first catch. First catch by a female cricketer in this European series. Not to be. I'm sure we'll see another opportunity. As Isatula steams in again. This is a shortish ball outside the offside. It's been clobbered. Tennis-like. This has gone for a boundary. Four runs down to long off. 15 love, Hamid. Yep. It was a nice hit. A hike. Straight down the ground, but the results count. So the batsman would be happy with well, the result. Isla Dalazai will be steaming in this ball. I can promise you a short ball here. It is. It's a short ball. It's a straighter ball. There appears to be another another attempt. Yes! Yes! At court behind. This has been given. And Sharu behind the stumps takes her first catch in the European Cricket Series. First by a female cricketer in this series. A very Just nice catch. 
Sorry, Andrew. Just two balls later. Just got excited by this catch, a wonderful catch. Very low, but well watched into her gloves. German international wicket keeper, Sharu, experiencing the first match of ECS, being the first woman on the series. New batsman for PSV will be Nader. As a deal got dismissed, caught by the keeper, Sharu. Balled by Isitla Dolatzai, one of the star cricketers that we have in Germany. Nader Ramani looking to continue his good day of cricket so far. Had some good success with the ball. It'll be Sultan bowling his second over. As you can see that star on his chest, suggesting the Bundesliga Championship of 2019 for the KSV. He was a part of that team. Shah running in. This is a straight ball. It's bold. Off stump. Another delivery which yet another batsman has expected to rise, has been looking to pull on the leg side and been fatally dismissed. Bold, top of off stump, trying to play across the line. Oh dear. It's just another one of those shots that we've been seeing today. A hike heading the ball across the line. Obviously, Sultan Shah's pace played a role there as well. Getting his second wicket. Awal Khan Safi is the new batsman. Awal Khan Safi can use a long handle. But that will be questionable if he does. As he needs to help his side get over this total. With some sensible cricketing shots. Sultan on the other hand would love to have his wicket as well because he will be one of the key batsmen for PSV here. Again rewarded for straight bowling. Sultan Shah will be trying to do exactly that with this ball. So they are keeping a slip as well. It's quite a good idea. New batsman into the crease. Four wickets gone. Sultan into Safi. It's a it's a short ball. This really did get some height. Unlike some of the others which have slipped through. He attempts to sort of noodle it through the offside. Completely misses and it's no run. Well watched into the keeper's gloves. Some extra bounce there for Sultan. That's been needing to be very diligent in watching the ball, watching the pitch, watching the up, up spring, and playing the ball based on that reaction rather than an expectation that the ball will bounce at the same height. I think KSV will go straight away and ball their best two ballers in the first four overs going for 100% attack which is actually a very right strategy with having not a lot on the board. Sultan Shah in again. This one's a shortish delivery, short of length outside the off stump. Mm, sort of fished at it with no real success uh, and there's no run. I think beaten by pace there again. Not a great deal of footwork there. Might have also affected the connection or lack thereof.
Sultan. It's teaming in. He'd love to take one more here. And this ball's a straighter ball. It's hit him on the leg relatively high, uh, relatively low. It was angling down the leg side, and the umpire suitably declines the appeal. Very much like the line in length that Sultan is bowling here, making full use of this pitch and the varieties that it's offering. Sultan again, and this is an another ball just short of a length. It's defended down to the short leg area and there's no run. There's one delivery to go into this over. Sultan, slightly fuller, just again prodded down by the batsman, may not have connected with the bat, there's no run in any case and that's the end of the over. Awal Khan being a bit cautious there, I think the ball staying low might be at the back of his head, but at the same time he was waiting on his back foot mm, really quite a bit of wind developing Mathman may be able to use that to their advantage if they can just find the right areas that of course in conjunction with the ball being in the right place new baller will be Shreb Khan although with Restrictions breeding creativity. Batsmen are tasked in the short form to find new solutions, to find new areas, to find new strokes, you know, able to capitalize on whichever ball they, be they get. <laughs> and the new bowler, Shoah Bazam. Runs in now, and this is a fuller delivery down the leg side. It's just padded away by the look. And they'll pick up one leg by. I think naturally Shea balls big in swingers. Let's see if he gets some of this swing. It will obviously help him and his team getting a couple of wickets. Which will be very handy here. Coming in again, and this is a straighter delivery. Uh, a big swing, looking to hit over mid-wicket with no connection, and there's no run. In case we will be very happy with the things being in their control right now. And that one's just been driven along the ground nicely through the covers. Went for the boundary. And that is four runs. A lot of value for strokes along the ground here. A matter of timing and this has been done very nicely. Low risk shot through the covers. Shreb was just a bit fuller there. Not using the pitch. There is a lot to offer. If you hit the right areas. Here he goes. And that's a widest delivery down the leg side. It'll be a wide and one run, so two wides to the total. Armani. Armani will be facing his first ball. Again, it's a delivery outside the off stump. It's a fuller ball, almost half volley. Good opportunity to hit through the covers, but it's been missed. No feet work there. Shreve will take that dot ball. Shoab angling them in nicely. He'll be aiming outside the off stump, which he does this ball, but this one's been hit. It's a good length ball. It's been just hit out there to a 
a midish, a longish off, and I'll get one single. Oh well, Khan Safi on strike. Uh, Shoa Bazam comes in again. This is a fuller length ball outside the off stump. Again, feet not really moving in the direction of the ball, and it's a dot ball. That was very nice glove work by Sharu. That ball bounced from a very foolish length, and Sharu had to take it over, his head, or over her head. Not used to a women cricketer. She is the first one on ECS playing in a match here in North Germany. I'm change of bowler now with Safi. Safiula Safi, the new bowler. A decent seam bowler. Safi to Rahani. And it's a straightish ball. It's been well connected, though. That should be all the way. It is indeed six runs. Down the ground over Cow Corner. Very well connected. A, a disappointing first ball. He'll be looking to pitch the ball up a little more because that was middled for a, a very nice six. And in fact, there may be even a little difficulty in, ro in uh, locating the ball. That was such a powerful hit. Nader Khan made sure that that ball lands over the boundary rope. As Safi has been put under pressure. Safi again in. And this is another attempt at the same stroke. It's gone past just beyond the leg stump. They'll dash through for a bye. As fine leg has it in. The ball swung after. It was over the stumps. Which makes it more difficult for the wicket keeper to collect it. Sophie again. This is outside the off stump. It's been slashed. There's going to go... It's been slashed down to third man. They'll pick up a single. Fell safely before. It was a slow ball. The looks of it. Safula in again. This is outside the off stump. It's been clobbered, but not clobbered well enough. And that's a very nice catch there at a long midish on and a disappointing end. Sultan Shah catching that ball. Sultan is a wonderful. Fielder, especially when it comes to boundary riding, has a wonderful arm, very calm, and he's catching the ball. The new batsman is Amin Zadran. As Awal Khan will be on strike. So Safiul Asafi has got a wicket yeah. and he's over as well. After getting hit for a six at the beginning of his over, he's managed to pull things back to his favour. Alkan Safi facing Safiul Asafi. Yeah. Hit in the air. Oh, there's a six. That went over the boundary for a sixer. Six runs. Rock back off the back foot. And... Cut it just in front of point, careering into the net. Didn't appear to time it perfectly, but it's six runs in all the way. And Safi coming in. in. This is a little ball down leg side, and this has been punished even further. Goodness gracious, that's gone in the field. Adjacent to the ground. Oh dear, what an over. Three sixes. And he'll be none too pleased to end his over there. 19 runs and a bye from it. I think despite losing a wicket in this over, PSB, PSV will be very, very happy with the end result. Oh. 
Şöyle bazen tu bağlı his second over. I mean Zadran is on strike. Shoei Bazam coming in now. It's another ball which held straight outside the off stump. It was a no real commitment to a shot there. Mm, it's gone through to the keeper. Again, this is a straighter delivery just outside the off stump. A little bit of angle into the batsman, I'd say, and there's no run. A steady start into the over, as they had a very good over the last one. Three six has been hit in the last over. That's a very good delivery. Shreyab Khan hitting the good length area and very well taken behind the stumps by Sharu. Sharu, German women international cricketer. She keeps the wickets for German national team, as we call them the Golden Eagles. So again, this one's outside the off stump, another prod at it. To get a little more footwork than previous deliveries, but no connection and there's no run. Three dots now in this over. Won't be too much pressure given the three sixes in the previous over though. Show up again. This is outside the off stump. Some good angle in. They've just clicked that towards mid wicket. There's a throw at the stumps, but they're comfortably home for the single. It's a nice and steady over to this point. Shrey will be making sure that he finishes this over well. I will count on strike. Oh, that was a nice delivery. Swinging in at him. And Sharu again, very professionally collecting the ball. Sharu is also a German champion for THTT. So in German championship, she also has seen the heights of winning the German championship as well the same time being with the German Golden Eagles had a tour of Oman last year they had a lot of success there so it will be Isakla Daulatzai this over will be a key over he will be looking to get a wicket or two is a tail in now. It's a short ball, poor ball down the leg side and a wide. Thirty-five for five. And the six overs bowled with less than a run of ball. He's a two dollar tie to ball the second ball off his second over. Zatilla and again it's another ball down leg side. They managed to get some bat on this. There's at least a single there down to fine leg. In fact it's gone for four. Four runs there. Real value for money. Value for strokes. Value for timing. This lush Kummerfeld outfield has rewarded a well-timed glance. I think Nada is playing a very, very handy role here in this chase. Izatullah Daulatzai will be looking to get his wicket in this over. As I said, this is a very, very key over. Very important over. Is he in again? And this one's a little straighter. There is some really good in shape there. There, there were, may have been the opportunity for a buy, but it's been swept up with, with speed, and there's no run. gathering his top thoughts on the way back to his mark he runs in another on strike 
Coming in again. It's another short ball. This really does go up around the the earmark. It's been called a wide overhead height, according to the umpires. And now we're starting to see some bounce. Yes, yeah, passing just over the batsman's head there. Izzy, Izzy wants to bounce him out there. There he is. If he hits that good good length area, the ball will do enough. Opportunities will be provided by the pitch. Oh, let's say again, full. Defended back down the wicket and there's no run. Nader seems to be very comfortable on this wicket now. After hitting some boundaries, he's feeling very confident. Getting behind the line of the ball, facing Izzatullah Daulatzai with all his pace. Is he in again? And this is a s another searing ball which passes around the batsman's ribcage just outside the off stump. No run. of 21 balls. Daulatai. Outside the off stump, a little bit of shape in, just plotted back down the pitch, back to the bowler and there's no run. So there will be one ball to ball in this over. Daulatai, very keen to get another Nader holds the key. To the final ball of the over, and it's a shortish ball outside the off stump. Batsman has a look, has a think, and decides with the third man in place that he will let that go. End of the over. Seven bold now. 41 for five. I think it is going to be. It's going to get very exciting as they need 13 of three overs. It'll be Asad bowling this over. <coughs> they would have loved to have one more over from Sultan. But a good over here will make the task harder for PSV moment it's looking in their favor. Assad in. It's a foolish. It's a lucky outside edge into the boundary. That's four runs. That is not an ideal start for KSV. As PSV are closing down onto their target. Very lucky outside edge for Awal Khan. Asajan Davodkel. Bowling to Awal Khan Safi. This is a fuller ball just outside the off stump. There's connection made. They've taken a single down to mid on. And it'll just be a single. A slight discussion as to whether there were two there. I most certainly think there were not. And they make the sensible decision to leave it at one single. So it'll be now they're on strike facing our Assad. Now will Khan Safi. And just keep his head. We should make these last few runs comfortably. Dabud Kell just getting his run up right. And he's back to it again. This ball's a fuller ball just outside the off stump. It's hit just toward the covers. They won't get a single. Thought about it. And sensibly. 
electing to stay put. Dot ball is still very handy for KSV here. They need to take this game deep as long as they can. Fabi again, it's a fuller ball, it's been plotted down to long on. They should get one and stay at one, well backing up, well backed up. It's the first match of ECS European Cricket Series, North Germany. First tournament in Germany as Asad runs in, balls to Nader. Nader hits it in the air. Asad wants to catch the ball and he drops it. He drops the ball. Bigger pardon, it was Awal Khan on strike. But a wicket would have been very handy here as he gave it a hike and Asad missed it. Yeah. Dropped it. Very high ball, sunshine. As the bowler comes in again, and this one is a just short of a length outside the off stump. No wide call. This was comfortably within the tracks. The batsman nowhere near it. There's no run, and that will be the end of the over. 48 for five from eight overs. Just six runs to make. In the remaining two, wickets in hand being the key difference between the innings here, between KSV and PSV. So six runs required. It'll be Safiullah Safi bowling to Awal Khan Safi as he pulls back because he wasn't ready. Six runs to get. PSV will be looking to score those six runs and get home. Safiola comes in now. It's a good ball on the stumps. It has been well connected though. It's another six. It's the fourth six. He's conceded from his bowling. Didn't do a lot wrong there with the ball. That'll be the game for PSV. A victory for PSV over KSV. The first match of European Cricket Series North Germany. PSV starts their tournament with a victory. KSV will obviously be looking to have a good comeback as they would be the favourites to win this tournament. Yes, jubilation there from PSV. Very happy, comfortable win in the ninth over. A great start to their weekly tournament. Stay tuned on the European Cricket Network and we will be back with you in just a few moments.
and we welcome our viewers back here to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series here in Kummerfeld in northern Germany. Kummerfeld being a short drive just northwest of the northern city of Hamburg, the Harberstadt, Harbour City where we are preparing for match two of this European cricket series between MTV and Findorf. Findorf fortunate enough to win the toss, electing to bowl on a very lush outfield, which has seen a lot of value for money, a lot of value for shots along the ground. And some variation in bounce as the morning has progressed, drying out a little, which we are expecting to see a little more consistent as this day progresses on. players just making their way onto the field. Findorf again electing to bowl in their resplendent double blue two-toned kits and I'm joined here in the commentary box by Sharanya Sadarangi. Hello, good morning to you. Hi Andrew, thanks for having me. It's nice to be here, it's a lovely day for cricket isn't it? Most definitely. Sharu having Already played one game this morning. One catch, I believe. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, we didn't win that game. But it, the season's still early, or the tournament's still early, so we'll see how we get on tomorrow. I thought you may have been a little unfortunate not to get two catches credited. It all happened really quickly, to be fair. Play just about to get underway here. Opening the bowling. Will be Gulam Farouk Amari for Findorf. With Bazit Oya. And 
and Suraj Lal Pudamati Lal to face the first ball. Ray for the first ball. It's a wide ball out to the offside. Quite short. Slashed and good, at. And a good take by the keeper there. comes in again and this one's a straighter ball although not that straight as it's been hoiked in the direction of square leg that's careered into the net for six runs straight in the sense that it wasn't one meter outside the offside this was really picked off quite a good bounce and a very useful early six Amri in again. This is another shorter ball and similarly punished just in front of square and a four to the total. See how Amiri recovers. Steaming in again. This is a straighter ball and he's bowled. Another ball. Another ball today, which has been rewarded by bowling on the off stump. The batsman dismissed. A mere three balls into the innings. It didn't quite reach the height possibly expected. And a third pull shot was unsuccessful and that is the end Batsman Mohamed Fabsai. The bowler comes in. It's a straightish ball outside the offside. Hit down to cover, and there's no run. Bowler coming in again. It's a reasonably straight ball, just short of a length. A little bit of shape in toward the batsman. Hit down to cover and no run. And again, and this is a wide ball outside the off stump. It's curved away from the batsman and justifiably a wide called. Again, this one's down the leg side. There's another ball clipped off around the rib cage. 4-4 four, four runs for the third boundary. One six and two fours for the over, and that is the end of the over for the Stallions making a good start with 16 runs and a loss of one wicket.
New bowler now. Amiri now for the second over. It's a straightish ball. It's hit straight down the throat of Midon. And that's a very, very good start for Amiri. It was a straightish ball. Uh, really hoiked there. No great connection. And Hamid Vardak there, our commentator in the first match, has taken a comfortable catch. Bazidoya will be very disappointed there. Getting some good bounce in this pitch and not making the most of it. The new batsman will be Gaurav Singh Rator. The captain for MTV. Sharu, uh, with the wind picking up, how does that affect us on the field as a wicketkeeper? I think we're going to see a lot of swing as well because we have an odd bounce on the batting pitch. Um, at training last week as well, we had a lot of wind and it affected the way that the keeper had to move as well. So stay low, watch the ball, would be a good start. How many now to the new batsman Gaurav? And it's a fading away ball outside the off stump. It has been called wide. Possibly wind affected, as you just mentioned, uh, Faru. again. This is a straighter yeah, yeah. delivery. It's just clipped up yeah. and yeah. it's another catch yeah. at yeah. mid on. Kabaja taking the catch there. Just spooned up, possibly misjudging the pace. And it's a regulation catch to a ball pitching on leg, just outside leg. Spooned up. And a very disappointing walk off the field for Gaurav there. New batsman Priyash Prajapati, the MTV wicketkeeper. Continuing as he comes in now, and it's a straightish delivery of pitching middle and leg, and they're going to scramble a single there to mid wicket. The throw comes in; it's quite wild. Well backed up there by Vardak. Yeah, 
as Amiri comes in again. Yeah. The ball just outside the off stump. Doesn't bounce much, it's just prodded towards point. And there's no run. Amiri. Straightish ball, pitching middle. Just hit back down toward the bowler. They don't chance a single there. Amari again. This is just outside the off stump. There was a consideration of appealing, but it was not followed through, and that's the end of the over. Three wickets down for 18 runs. A lot of difficulty, evidently, judging the bounce. You, Shori, you managed to spend an over batting. How did you find the bounce? Well, the couple of balls that I did face, they were all right. They stayed low, but whilst I was keeping, there were a couple flying over my head, to be fair. I think when you're bowling good length in this pitch, you get an extra bounce. So if it's a bit shorter of the wicket, then it stays low. I think we might be seeing a fairly, a fairly basic rule here that those putting the ball on the stumps will be rewarded. You're very right. None of those balls getting through to your stumps, of course. So it's going to be Rashad now. Rashad Mahmoud bowling to Payapati. Just a few last checks of the field before he steams in. And oh. full length delivery. It's got through batsman and keeper down the leg side. We'll wait on the umpire's call. It's been given f four wides, so five to the total. It really got through everybody there. Tried to glance it. Kiva didn't quite make it. Yep. And in again, and this is a ball just pitching outside the off stump. And there's no run with the prod to short cover. Come on, guys, Chaba Chaba. And rush out in again. That's it. <laughs> This is a miscued shot, which has gone straight back to the bowler. It's caught and bowled. Really missed time there. Russia just reaching up, taking the catch. And the Stallions here in real trouble. Four wickets down in just the third over. Russia delighted. Yes, a good start from SG Findorf. They were German champions last year. They lost out on making another ECL appearance just by losing the final two the team from Frankfurt, but uh, they have a non computer graded play. Sorry, I didn't have my microphone on there. You probably heard me talking from the background, but yeah, I was just saying, SG Findorf, they're a very experienced T10 side. A lot of you would have seen them in European Cricket League 2019. They made it to the final where they were defeated by VOC Rotterdam. But, uh, yeah, good start for them so far. Beat me to it. A very warm welcome to Jams Cantor. Guten Morgen. It's about the limit of my German. So if you have any questions for us, feel free to enter them into the YouTube chat and we will try and answer them as we can. It's a new 
Besson's on strike. Rush that in now, and this is just outside the off stunt. Played straight to cover, and there's no run. Another dot ball there, good stuff. From the issue, Findorf bowler, dot balls in the T10 format, very important. Almost as important as a wicket. Rush that in again. And this is a full flight of delivery. Spooned over mid wicket, and that's four. Yeah, well controlled there from the batsman. He had the, it's only a short boundary on the legs, so or actually all around the ground, and he had that man at mid wicket in sight, clipped it over his head for a comfortable four. Uh, Bobby Singh, this is not Cam. Cam's back in Switzerland. This is James, but well, thanks for the compliment. He was a very good commentator. R rush it in again, and this one's just outside the off stump. Really gets some bounce there, and the keeper was a little surprised. The batsman is also surprised. And there's no run. Yeah, some real nice kick off the pitch did that one. One of the uh, sort of fast surfaces we've played on so far in the European Dream 11 European Cricket Series. Rush out again. And this is a straighter ball. Pitching just outside off and defended back down the wicket. There's no run. And that was a very excellent right. over for SG Findorf. Wicket coming from it, just the one boundary, not too many scoring opportunities. So I'm just trying to get myself a little score update here as I'm setting myself up. You guys probably already know it, but we can't actually see the scores on our monitor that we're looking at. So 27 for 1. This is the second match today, the second match of four. First match being played by the home team. Kumasfeld Sportsverein is a very low scorer against PSV, the Polizei Sportsverein with PSV coming out on top. So MTV still ends 27 for 4 after 3. Looks like Farouk is continuing with his nice painter X shoes. Farouk Amari in again. And this one's a ball just pitching on off stump. A little short of a length and he's pulled it down to deep square leg for a single. Yep, so the men outside the circle, that deep square leg who just fielded it, they've got a third man, the fine leg, and just trying to pop around. It looks like they've got a long, long off and a deep cover. Now Mary in again. It's a full yeah. ball, pitching on, off stump, hit down to a deepish cover, and they pick up a single. Trying to bring up Farouk's uh, stats from the ECL last year. Well, he comes in again. Mary in again, and this is outside the off stump. It's got another rising delivery, which the batsman considers, decides to let go, and there's no run. Curious what's under this wicket, because it really does kick up off the off the crease line around that about that area. Jumps up quite sharply. Now Mary, and it's a full ball, and it's been. Slapped. Slapped is not fair. That's been stroke or even struck over the boundary at Cow Corner. Six more. It's a much needed boundary for the Stallions. Ramiri. As this one outside the off stump, there's a big slash. A real cry from the batsman there, missing an opportunity. No run. Stallions were the finalists in Hamnover a couple of weeks ago where they fell to Kumathau Sports the Rhine. So I'll be looking to improve on that, go one better this time in the Dream 11 European Cricket Series. Kumathau. And this delivery is on just outside the off stump. Struck nicely along the ground down to long off and they'll take a single. Picked up by Aziz, he's one of the one of the top fielders in the team, excellent catcher, safe under the high ball, doesn't mind throwing his body around. He's, he's uh, one to watch for in your Dream 11 fantasy team. Human highlight reel. Mm, at the end of the over there, four wickets down, 36 runs, as it would appear that Kawaja will be following the next over. 
his lovely flowing locks at the back there. It's quite a steady breeze coming across this ground if you're looking at it from the camera, sort of from the keeper's end down the wicket. Clouds actually picked up this morning, there was not a cloud in the sight, now it's starting to gather. Hopefully the uh, sun stays out for us all day today. But yeah, Farouk was also one of the standout performers, that's Farouk uh, that's on strike. He was one of the standout performers from Hanover a couple of weeks ago. I think he had a top score of around 82. What do, you, what do you think would be a good score from this point in? Four overs gone, 36 for four. What do you think they should be looking to reach? I'd like to see 80 or 90 here. Aman Khalid, rather, coming into bowl now. And he's oh, got someone just outside the off stump. It's turned in quite sharply. There's a half-hearted appeal for LB, but no run. Yeah, it's been a bit of a hard wicket to score on so far today. Uh, oh, it's just the extra pace off the pitch that these teams aren't used to as the umpire chases his head around. Good job catching that one there. Just gives a sign of what, how strong the wind is. See the bowels flying off as well. And a bit of shake from our camera. It's a steady, steady breeze. Well, I think at this stage with four wickets down, James, 80 or 90 would be quite an effort. There is some good batting power to come, although batsmen will need to be wary of the straight balls as Khalid comes in again. And this is wide outside yeah. the off stump. It's, it's cut in the air and it's caught. Oh. No, it's not. It's dropped at deep point. Opportunity there for a spectacular catch. He had it, fumbled. And they take a single. Yes, I think Alex was just a little bit nervous about where that fence was. There's not really a rope he can judge off just going straight into the fence or not. Couldn't hold on to it, so Farouk's been let off that wide ball. I'm at Khalid to continue. It's a whitish ball outside the off stump. Thought about letting it through to the umpire, but eventually signalled wide. Not a great deal of turn on that delivery. No, I mean, the, the uh, batsman there has the wind in his favour. And it's not very long boundary straight, so if you can target them. Khalid, this one, also pitching outside the off stump quite wide. Umpire thinks about it, decides this one was within the tracks. And there's no run. Yeah, so if the car looking just to play this one on the offside, finally. Well protected there, though. Well, this one's a little bit straighter. There's an edge and a fumbled attempt at a stumping. I feel that was a drop and the missed stumping in one, wasn't it? If you see the replay here. Oh. Yeah, the keeper making a real meal of that. Speaking of meal, I'm getting hungry. Khalid. It's a little straighter. It's hit high ball in the air down to long off. And comfortably taken. Or is it indeed? No, no, he was safely inside the circle there. So well taken by the man down there at long off. He was about a metre inside the circle. It's not easy when you're swirling around in the wind like that. As our cameraman shows, he is well in. Shakat Ashraf, the fielder there. A very brave catch in these windy conditions. Yeah, not the best of innings there for us to go. He's kind of struggling anytime you get less than a runner ball in this format. It's not ideal. You just head into the YouTube chat, see if there's any questions. Who won the Hanover T10? That's from Tyson. Uh, so KSV, they won the Hanover Hanover hit out it was called uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was Prakash Shing, number 777, makes his way out to the crease and takes guard. Yes, indeed. So. 
Seems sealed fit for sit from here. Kalele in this one's a straight oh, delivery, a little bit of turn in. And it's defended back down the pitch for no run. Do you know believes the score reached 93? Another question, what is your assessment of the pitch so far? What would be a good target? Well, like we said, it was only a second match. The first one was a very low scorer, but the boundaries here are tiny, and it's a very fast outfield. Um, for me, I found the pitch quite fast, and the ball sort of spikes off of it quite rapidly as well. No, no fish broaching for lunch today, Yannick. Hamad Khan to take up the attack. Fizz nicely uh, taped on number there, number 45. Yes, Hamid Vardak plays for the German national team. One of their long serving players, a very good player indeed. As Hamid Khan chugs in there, quite wide of the wicket. It's a straight delivery though, great ball first up, pitching middle and off. It's a very gentle run up, isn't it? Just slowly works his way up. Yeah, so at the halfway mark, 35, 58 to 5. Even that 80 is starting to look a bit far away at this point. Khan in again. And this is a slower, loftier ball, which is punched back down the ground towards long off. They come back for a second and will make it comfortably. A good throw in there. Yeah, it's finding it a little bit difficult, but with Farouk still out there now at the striker's end, he is one of the best men to watch in this tournament. Khan down the leg side. There's a bit of. What was it? What was it? It's a bit of elbow, I believe it may have been. Yeah, I thought I heard a little noise picked up on the stump mic there, but I'm not sure if that was just something else scratching. Either way, the umpire has not moved, and I assume he signalled a wide. No, he didn't signal a wide. So elbow, elbow it is. Khan. It's a lofty full toss and it's dispatched comfortably over square leg for six. A full toss getting what it deserved. Well struck. Yeah, that one just went like a laser to the square leg boundary. Very short. Kane's asking length of the boundaries. I'd say that square one's probably about 40 metres. It is inside a sort of football field here. Maybe straight 45 if I'm being generous. Khan again to regroup. And this ball buzz pitch and it's a similarly smashed delivery. This is over the fence into the field for another six. Yes, and the umpires will have to recover. You've already got a should already have a ball out there in the middle. Well, perhaps they don't. Let me just go deal with that for a moment. Two sixes, two balls. Ahmad Khan wanted his, wanting to get his length right. One full, one short. Let's see what he has to offer now. As he steams in again, and this one is a foolish ball down the leg side. The batsman manoeuvres away from it, signalled wide. Electing to take the one sundry rather than attempt another six runs. Fifty two for five, can't again. And this is another full ball. Oh, he's really having trouble with his length here. This is just the four. 
Hamad Khan really having difficulty with length. Short full this over. And that ends the sixth over. 57 for five for the MTV Stallions. Yes, yeah, so a very useful over that one for the Stallions. And the man we're talking about, Farouk, the big hitter, he's the one deciding to take it on his own. He's not really had much support from anyone else, just looking at the scorecard. Next top score is 10, so... Yes, Farouk moved to 31 off the 19. Rakesh is now the man on strike. Got a man out there at uh, deep cover, protecting the offside boundary. Want a sort of deep backward square now. Makes you think, does he want to put in a little bit shorter here? Ahmad Khalid again. Oh, oh, this is outside the off stump. It's hit high in the air. There's two fields of un fielder under it, and it's been taken by the bowler. A great catch after some good calling there between the fielder. Good communication. Watching the ball in this very difficult, well, swirling, well. windy conditions. Yeah, he did a good job calling for that one early. We saw last week in Switzerland when two players, none of them calling, both of them got quite solid injuries after they ran into each other and ended up uh, having to leave the field. It's always important to uh, get your call in early. Batsman crossing right. ends, the new batsman will take the non striking position. It looks well. Like Kariraju as Khalid to bowl to Singh he comes in, this is outside the off time it's a slap towards cover and it's caught on the boundary yes that one's far too easy for Aziz out there at uh, deep extra cover he doesn't drop many of this lad and that's the danger man, Farouk gone. Yeah, he played a good little knock there, 31. But sadly has to go back. I wonder if we'll see the captain come out now. Well, the good run's been out. Sorry, he got a golden duck. That's how I missed it. Can I get the next one, please? Thank you. So, number 13, a new batsman heading out. Saidul Islam, again the batsman crossing, new batsman will begin at the non-striking end. With Ujval Raju on strike. Bowler comes in again, and this one is yep. just outside the off stump. It's delicately played down the third man. They'll pick up one, looking at the second. They'll come back, all fired in, a comfortable two in the end there, and that's good running. Yeah, that was a nicely controlled shot there down to third man, and complete control. Just, uh, it's not quite enough power on it though, unfortunately, to reach a fence. Good it, good it. Bowler in again, and this one's a straighter delivery, pitching just outside off. Hit down along the pitch. Just toward short cover for a dot ball. Khalil, straight back at it. It's a wide one outside off stump. It's been played just behind point there, and it's four runs. Yeah, good stuff. He seems to really like playing that cut shot or favour the behind point on the offside there. Nicely guided to the garden for four. So we haven't named the ends yet, but I guess it doesn't really matter naming ends when you only play from one end. So this ground they only regularly play at one end from anyway, but in the ECS we... We decide just to play from one end, speed up the matches and helps with the camera set up. Not needing to uh, play from both ends. Khalil. 
It's outside the off stump. There's a, a fishing shot at it, which goes straight through the keeper. There's no run, and that's the end of the over. So 63 for seven. It's the three overs remaining. Uh, any players from St. Gallen here ask Weishak? Nope, they're all back in Switzerland. This is uh, all players that play in the German league here. Findorf. Uh, quite a successful club. They only founded about back in about 2012 and have won the German 50 over championship, 20 over championship. New bowler will be number three. I believe they've actually got two grounds, Wimbo, up here in the north. Shafkat Mahmoud Afjad, who was a reasonably straight first delivery, played back down the pitch, and there's no run. Afjad again. This is outside the off stump. There's quite a swipe at it, looking to hit over mid wicket again. Not really getting anywhere near it. No, straight through to the keeper. And a similar stroke, looking to hit over mid wicket. Not connecting, no run. It just seems the bounce of this pitch is troubling the batsman here today. His teammates are going to go have a talk to him. I'll be saying, even if you get your head onto it, just run so I can get on strike. Shafkat Ashrad. It's a straighter ball. This is a more sensible stroke, but it was almost taken there at cover. It's gone down to the deep cover, where it's picked up by the mid-off fielder and they'll take two. Yeah, it was a nice controlled shot there this time. Jeff Cat again. This is a ball outside the off stump which is plugged to mid-wicket. There's been a run out. It was a silly run. It went straight to the fielder. Silly run and uh, sensible fielding. Not trying to go for the direct hit there. Knew he just had to ease it into the bowler. And a very simple run out there for Chief Indoor. But yeah, you correct, never really a single there. I'm not quite sure what he is thinking. Well, connection bat on ball being preferable to missing, but a really suicidal run there. Yeah, it looks like the uh, non-striker called him early. It wasn't going to take no for an answer. He just wanted to strike as the ball comes in. Continuing outside the off stump, he just lets that one go. Oh, so how's that? He's just called his teammate through for a suicidal run, then watches the dot ball. I'm not sure that's the smartest cricket to be playing at this stage of the innings. End of the over now. Eight wickets down. And... Ninth over to be bowled by. Looks like it's Alex coming back into the attack. Bowled the opening over of this match. Went for 16 in an over, so it was quite expensive in context of this game. Picked up a wicket. But second most expensive over in the match. question about the weather for the week. I think there's little bits of sporadic rain on and off throughout the week. Hopefully not too much as Alex starts his run up. Oh, to the left-handed who wears it on the chest but is called through for a quick single by his ever-hungry non-striker. Good run there in the end. New batsman. Nationalamaman. Good question, Bobby Singh. Why is Wardak not bowling? I, I'm not actually sure myself. I was w just wondering that question too. I know he often has troubles with his uh, fingers and shoulder, but I'm surprised to not see him bowl so far today. Alex. Straight his delivery just outside the off stump. It's punched down to 
long off. And I'll take a single. No risky second there. Sensibly sending his partner back. Yes, his partner's always a bit too eager, as we saw earlier. Alex to Moman. That's from wide outside. The crease around the wicket. They scamper through for a single. There's this peg at the stumps. Unsuccessful, and they managed to take an over for two. Falling from very wide on the crease there. It was Alexander, couldn't quite field it himself. There was a run out opportunity, but it turned into two. As he comes into bowl again, and this one's a little bit straighter. It's hoiked over in the direction of Long On. And that's four. More man, the left hander really looking at control now. Alex give. He comes in, steams in again from around the wicket. It's down the leg side. They managed to get a single which could have been a leg by. There's a misfield and they're going to come back for two. There's a confusion here. Uh, the thumps, the bales are taken off at the keeper's end. There was no throw to the bowler end and they scamble through for two to the total. Again, a little up. Lacking a little clarity in calls there. Where the fieldman should be throwing the ball. Alexander in again to Moman, and this is a straighter delivery. It's gone over the keeper's head, and they take one bye. And it's the end of the eighth over. Ninth over. So just one over remaining here before we uh, start the chase from Mr. Findorf. Mr. Findorf are a hard hitting team as well. So I just have a feeling these runs aren't quite enough at the moment. Well James you speak of smaller boundaries but the Sorry. smallest or largest boundaries aren't going to make a difference if uh, balls on the middle stump. Yes, indeed. Uh, not connected with. Is it one or two overs? Two overs on my score sheet here. Shafkat to bowl. Bowling to the left-handed Moman. Oh. They've been corrected. As he comes in, and it's a straightish delivery. Pitching middle. It's hoiked across there to a deepish mid wicket. And that'll take one run. Yeah, the uh, batsman there was keen for a second. It was never on, though. Wisely sent back by the number nine. Shafkat to Ujval. And this is outside the off stump. It's been spooned behind point. Careering into the bushes, and that's four. Yeah, once again, targeting that uh, behind point area seems to be his favourite area. Played that one nicely. Picked up the boundary. Looks like he needs some uh, new pads out there at the non-strikers end, or some new paint on them, a bit of lack. Do you have any black paint in your bag of goodies? That can be arranged. Very good. If you're wondering what they're spraying on the ball each time, it is disinfectant. Part of the COVID protocol here. Yeah, Shafkat comes in again. And this is a full ball, full toss, pitching on leg. And they glance it down to mid-wicket for a single. So 
just been returned one of the balls that was hit into the bush. Very good. Shafkat again to Moman. He's pitching middle and leg. He's spooned that over the mid wicket fieldsman. And they get four. Yes, Hamid Vardak there at mid wicket, not the tallest of men. Gave it a little bit of a leap, but it's all in vain. Much better over this one for the Stallions. Oh my gosh, that is suicide if I've seen it, but gets away with it. He wants another. It was a swipe outside off stump, no connection, but they hurried through for a suicidal bye. The umpire missing the stumps. To, yeah, keeper probably would have been better to throw it to the non-striker's end. This is quite comical. The keeper missing the stumps. The umpire signalling buyers. Yeah, umpire also missed the stumps. <laughs> Shaft cut again. And it's outside the off stump. No balls called. They're going to scamper through for one. The cover fielder well, the, has had it in for two. Oh, the fails go off. he's gone. Good throw there from the deep. Two the batsman's end. He's a little bit short of his crease, even with his dive. And the umpire sticks his finger up. Says goodbye. Yeah, it was a reasonable stroke there towards the cover boundary. I'm not sure the two were on, but at this stage of the game, anything goes. And the keeper comfortably taking off the bales. The bat not so soundly grounded. And that's the end of... So just a one ball remaining in the innings. Let's see what he can do with it here. Shafkat. To Asgar Amarhil. The last ball, and this is a ball down leg side. Oh, and he's run him out. Good shot there by the uh, the wicket keeper there. The ball piercing between the stumps and the batsman who stepped back to give himself a little room. They try for the bye. Are unsuccessful. Yeah, he and didn't miss Asghar this time. He has run out without score. The end of the innings. MTV Stallions finishing 87 runs for the loss of nine wickets. I think I said 80 to 90, did I not, James? Yeah, and I was questioning your call there. I didn't think they'd make it at the halfway point, but they've done a good good recovery there in the end to make it through to through to 89, giving Findorf a total of 20 to uh, 90 to chase. If I just take a look at the batting scorecard here, there wasn't too much happening on early. Siraj hit a six early on in the innings, get ten, but he fell quite quickly after his two boundaries. Bassett, a very good young former under-19 player, just a golden duck for him. Farouk, the 31 off 20s, which really held the innings together. Skipper, unfortunately, out for a golden duck as well, and then not much, too much else to talk about. So we get down to the end, a few late boundaries from both Ujwal and Moman. Given them eh, an okay total to chase. 90. Not really sure what the par is here. Still maybe think it's a little bit below par. It's going to have to be some disciplined bowling from the Stallions. If I take a look at the bowling card. So Alex is opening at the top. Two overs, one for 25. He was a little bit too expensive considering. Some, uh, good stuff though from Farouk. Two for 11 off his two overs, and in particular, Amar Khalid. Two overs, three for eight. But, uh... 
yeah, just constant wickets throughout the innings, really. Nearly a, a wicket in every single over. It was only in the fourth, sixth, and uh, ninth overs there was no wicket. But just those two overs you can see there on the Manhattan, the second over, fifth over, and the eighth over. Only two runs coming from in a T10, that is a very cheap over. But we will be back with you again. What time does this innings resume, actually? I always... 30. We'll be back with you in nine minutes to have the chase. Thank you. So the MTV Stallions back on the field. Appearing to be discussing their strategy, how they can defend their total of 89 from their allotted 10 overs. Just on five minutes. For this, the first ball of this chase to be bowled.
field is dispersing as the umpires begin to make their way to the centre. Welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series live here from Kimmerfeld. We are about to begin the chase of SG Findorf versus MTV Stallions. MTV batting first. Doing a good job in the end to get to 89 after it looked like they're in a bit of trouble early on. But will it be enough for Findorf? Out there in the middle for SG Findorf, it looks like. Hamid Vardak. And uh, Shafkat Mahmoud Aftraf. Yep, so Hamid at the non-striker's end in his German helmet. Shafkat wearing his nice green Kookaburra ECL helmet from ECL 19. Ischi Findorf were the German representatives in ECL 19 last year. And it's going to be Ujval Gariraju to open the attack. As he comes in now for the first ball and it's a wide, foolish ball outside the off stump wide yes a bit of a bit of a loose one there from Ushwal to start the innings I need to get that one back on track nice and quick here Ushwal again and this is a straighter ball it's probably pitching on leg stump it's been it's four it's been hit just between square leg and mid-wicket and careers into the net. Yeah, no trouble that one there for Shafkat. Crammed in a little bit for space but controlled it nicely to the square leg fence to get the innings underway. Well. This is a ball outside the off stump. It's punched past mid-wicket, uh, mid-on rather, and they'll take one run. So that brings Hamid Vardak, former German player of the year, the left-hand all-rounder. Well, we didn't actually see him bowl this last innings, but I think in 2017 he was DCB player of the year, Deutsche Cricketbund. Also the captain of the team, and did everyone know he plays for Germany by wearing his red German helmet? Hamid Vardak. Just looks around the field, ready to face his first delivery. He's got a slip here in place. I don't often see a slip in a T10. 
It's the captain himself there standing in the slip. As well, steaming in again. This ball's pitching on off stump. Gladark just hits that back down to the, to the bowler, and there's no run. Yeah, nice bit of movement there. A little turn into the uh, or swing into the left hander. Trying to find the men outside the circle. So we have the third man outside the circle. And looks like a long on. Rajwal to Vardak. And this ball's pitching on leg and middle. It's been spooned up. There was a chance there at mid wicket. The catch was dropped and they're going to come back for two. In oh, fact, oh no. it's gone for four. It's been pushed by the fielder. And Wardak off the mark with a four. Mr. Mungal's kitchen there wanted to flick that one back inside, but ha only happened to flick it back onto his leg. Then ricochet to the fence for four. Unfortunate stuff there. But he did give me free lunch in Hanover and dinner, so I won't be too hard on him. So both batsmen with the boundary here in the first over. Rajval again to Vardak, and this is outside the off stump. It's hit straight this time. It's miscued. It bounces just before mid on, or long on, and they scamble through for a single. Yeah, he's lucky that one didn't quite didn't quite get under it, but lucky it fell short of the fielder down there. Very hunched over stance here, does the batsman. Shaft cut. Okay. It's outside the off stump. It's punched high in the air, straight down the ground, and six runs. Yeah, great shot that one. We actually sort of lose sight of it here in our commentary box as it goes down the grounds. But uh, that's the idea. Use the wind to help carry it over that boundary. It's not a long boundary, only about 45 metres straight. So, so far it's all very easy for SG Findor. 17 runs coming from the first over. Thank you to Meta Daub doing the scoring for us here today. I've heard rumours she can score in five books at once. Very talented scorer. It's Farouk. He's going to come in for the second over here. So popular selection in the Dream 11 Fantasy League is Farouk. Handy with the bat and ball. Mohamed Farouk, Arab Zai, just getting in a few shoulder looseners to the fielder at mid on. So they've brought their third man inside now. Farouk to Vardak now. It's a full ball. <laughs> There's a run out here, a run out opportunity. The oh. non striker came charging down the wicket. The ball hits straight to mid wicket. No chance of a single. Wadak correctly sends him back and they avert disaster. Yes, a little bit of a let off here for Findorf. It was a wide throw from the man at uh, mid wicket there. Otherwise, it could have been trouble for Shafkat. Farukin again. Wadak, this is a ball which pitches almost Yorker length. And hits straight back to the bowler. He may have fielded that very nicely with his body. <laughs> well, I think, I think it got him uh, in the old family jewels there. Just walking a bit gingerly now. I have to speak with Mrs. Farouk after the match. <laughs> As Farouk comes in again to Vardak. And this is a ball which is wide outside off stump. It's been hit along the ground to cover. And there's no run. Another dot ball there.
Farukin again, Vardak on strike, and this ball is pitching off stump, and he's hit it high in the air. Oh. The fielder at point. The ball, ball, it is the ball. Not attempting any real attempt at the catch. No, I think what actually hit had one run. I think he slipped on the on the circle ring there, the plastic disc. So he was getting himself in position and slipped on the disc, and yeah, then was not in position. So it's very unfortunate there for the fielder. If you see this replay, yeah, you go. You see him slipping on that disc. It's unlucky, but a let off for Hamid Vardak. Shafkar Ashraf in his resplendent green helmet taking strike. Very resplendent, love it. Fadrik Arabzi. This is a foolish ball pitching on off stump. He strokes that down to mid off and they take one run. Better over this one so far for the Stallions. It was a, is that quite an expensive first over. Wardak on strike. This ball's pitching on middle. Wardak's got a a serious piece of that. He's cleared the net. This is over. Deep square leg for six. Yeah, yeah, good job on that short boundary there. Held up nicely. Cleared the uh, the net. Big tall net there on the around the boundary. Just as I was saying it was a good over, I jinxed it, didn't I? 25 for nine after two. Well on track here. It'll be a disappointing end of that over for Farah Karabzi. Just the two runs off until that final ball. You can't bowl there to Hamid Vardak. Looks like they're going with the triple seven. Prakash Mangal's kitchen himself. He likes to hit the deck quite hard. No way, that's someone else. I think he's a spin bowler. He likes to spin the ball quite hard. Prakash Singh. It's a wide-ish delivery outside the off stump. Wasn't as wide as it looked mainly because the batsman gave himself a little bit of room. Did not connect and there's no run. Prakash. A similarly oh. wide ball outside off stump. It's punched towards point. There's a bit of a misfield. And that's four runs. Yes, there was some slip sloppy fielding there from the man at point. It wasn't exactly hit very hard. Didn't really time it nicely. Let it go through his hands. And the uh, pressure piling up on Stellians early in this chase. Thing. Outside the off stump, it's smashed in the air and it's a six, six runs over deep cover. Smashing it into the net there. The fielder with no chance. Shafkat Ashraf. Moving to 18. And we'll see what Singh has to respond to that. And this ball's also outside the off stump. It's another lofted deliver, uh, lofted stroke. This time a little more in the cover direction. And it's four runs. A real electrifying start here for Shafkat Ashraf. Yeah, so it's a little bit too easy for Findorf at the moment. Or he raced on to 35. Third of a total. Need a bit of a uh, bit of luck here. Or something to go their way. Prakash to Ashraf. This is a miscued stroke down to long on. In any case, they will take the single. With the now resplendently red helmeted Varak. 
to face the last ball of the over. Yeah, it's just letting everyone know that he plays for Germany. Yeah, Singh comes in again, and this is a ball which pitches on middle and off. And there's no run after it's hit back down to the bowler. End of the over. 40 for none, just after three overs. Shuff cut going along nicely at the moment. 27 runs from nine deliveries for a strike rate of exactly 300. What can you do? What can you do, MTV Stallions? Just got to keep... I mean, it's only 10 overs. You don't have much time to... Uh, to adjust for this. Well, anything short of a length appearing to be punished here. Full straight bowling being rewarded. As often is the case. And it's Farouk continuing. Shraf Kadashraf. Having a look around the field, looking where he may be able to find a gap, watching that third man, seeing exactly where he might be able to pierce a boundary. Farouk. This is a straightish, foolish ball, and it's slapped down to mid off the field and makes a bit of a meal. Could have prevented the boundary. He has, and they get just a single after all of that. Ball nicely padded down to prevent the four. Farouk bowling Vardak, he just aborts his run up, making sure everything's right. Vardak ready. Aruk steaming in again. Vardok plays it back down the ground in the mid off direction, long off direction, and they'll take one run. Aruk to Afshar. And this is a straight full delivery. Bold. Yes, finally a breakthrough there for MTV Stallions, getting the big hitting Shafkart out. There's a good knock from Shafkart though. It's 28 runs from 11 deliveries there. But just try to have a big heave at this one on the leg side. Doesn't connect. And uh, Fruit polishes his head to celebrate. Make So it uh, looks like Aziz is the new man out in the middle. Aziz to what side, a human highlight reel. One of my favorite German cricketers from way back in the uh, German cricket TV days. Farouk now. He's looking to make an impression on Aziz Davadze as he takes guard. And this ball's a good length delivery just outside the off stump. Farouk fields his own bowling, or rather, the cover fieldsman, and there's no run. Some very lightning batsing there from Shafkat Ashraf. 28 off just 11 deliveries. Yes, put his team in a good position there as Throot comes in. Yeah. And that's straight back down the ground. Past the bowler, two mid on, and they'll get one run. As our lunch gets delivered. Oh, it's making me hungry. Good off to wait. Do wait. But at this rate, we won't have to wait too long the way this innings is going. Scoring a 12 and over here, only needing further 48 runs. Farouk again to Vardark, and this is a ball pitched just outside the off stump. Vardark smashes that between cow corner and long on. Four or six, yeah, that was a classy shot there from Vardark. Keeping momentum going. 
Now it's maybe his opportunity to start scoring some runs a bit more freely. So I believe earlier there was a question about um, international German internationals playing this tournament. So I think I know. So Hamid Vardak out there, he plays for the national team. He's hold the Waltzai, who was in the previous match, plays for the national team. Can't tell you exactly, but I think there's about three or four of them around in this tournament from the German national team. Saidul Islam, the new bowler, is making some final adjustments to his long off fieldsman as he comes in and bowls a reasonable ball which has been hit very high in the air. Over cover, just waiting on the signal. I feel it was a six, but we're just trying to get a signal from the Empire here. Yes, it was indeed a six. It certainly looked like a six. Uh, really starting to put the foot down now. Here's Azid Davadze. Can Saidal Islam recover for his second ball now? He's a straighter ball, a little fuller. This is just hit down to a cover. Making his way round to mid off, and they'll take one. Yes, yeah, all he really needed to do after hitting a six. They're well in control of this chase here. A few more wickets from Stellians would quite needed here. Got some classy shots from these two batsmen out in the middle. It's not all just wild swings across the line. Islam. It's a wide ball outside the off stump, and this is punished through the covers. But they'll only get the one run. However, they'll come back for an overthrow. As the very good throw in from the cover boundary did hit the stumps directly. Spilled away, and they've got two. Yeah, good stuff there from the batsmen, taking the opportunity when they saw it. Once again, nice controlled shot along the ground from Mr. Vardak, who you had on commentary at that uh, previous match. If you were wondering who that was, that's your batsman out there in the red helmet. Islam again to Vardak. And this is a shortish delivery outside the off stump, and it's been pulled, hooked, whatever you may, over cow corner for a well-controlled six. He cannot bowl short to Ahmed Vardak. Yes, he wasn't the player of the year for no reason. Nicely controlled and dispatched. Dispatched for six comfortably. So he's starting to pick up his innings now. Islam again. This is a full ball this time, which is just plonk back down the pitch. Long off comes in to restrict that to just a single. And coming over the wicket again. This is a Ball just outside the off stump, it's been slapped down to the long on boundary, and they'll get one. And that's the end of the over.
new bowler, Bazit Oria. We'll see what he can offer. The MTV Stallions. Comes in now, bowling right arm over the wicket. And this is a loopy ball. Didn't pitch, hit down to long off. And they take one run. 66 for one after five overs. Hamid Wadakh, 28 off 14 face the next delivery which is a, a foolish delivery outside the off stump and with elegance he's dispatched the boundary just beyond or behind point four runs We are, we'll have to be careful where he elects to bowl to Vardak. Not a great deal of room forever. As Oya continues now, and this ball is straight, pitching middle and off, and just hit down to the long off boundary for a single. Bazidoya electing to bowl over the wicket to both the left and right hand batsmen. As Bazit comes in again, and this is a, a slowish delivery outside the off stump. It's steered just down beyond point. The field are unable to stop it. That's four runs. Kazidoya. This ball's pitching on off stump, but he manages to. Hit the ball somehow in the direction of square leg and they'll take one. Quite a bit of wind developing here. Windy conditions, swirling ball. Very difficult for fielders to take those high outside. Oh. High. Catches in the outfield. As Buzzit comes into Vardak, who just prods down a ball which may have bounced up a little higher than he expected, back down the wicket, and there's no run. End of the over. Seventy-seven for the loss of one wicket. Really looking in control. New bowler is Maman. Bowling to the right hand, Aziz Davadze. He's coming in, left arm over the wicket. It's a ball just outside the off stump, steered between cover and point, and that's four. As Anola Maman will be a little disappointed that he gave the batsman so much room there. He appeared to effortlessly. Steer that ball between the two fields, but on the offside there, making a full value of this delightful outfoot. He comes in again, and this is also outside the off stump. Tried to steer that as well, 
between point and cover. Unfortunately, straight to point, no run. And again, this ball is pitching just outside the off stump again. Ooh, it's hit just down to a gullyish third man who has a throw at the stumps. Unsuccessful, and they take one run. Eighty-two for one. Oman to Ardak, who gives himself a little bit of room, takes a step down the pitch, punches it past the cover fieldsman, and it's four. SG Findorf edge ever so close to the target. Here is another ball which Wadak outside off stump hits very high in the air. In the direction of long on and it has been signaled six and that will be the end of the match. Just one wicket down SG Findorf. Comfortably taking this match. Really a no-brainer there to see why they were so comfortably able to win this match. That being wickets in hand. Just the one wicket lost in their 6.5 overs. Hamid Vardak finishing on 43 off 19. Mohamed Farouk Harabzai had 31 off 20. And Azid Davodze finishing with 20 runs, undefeated, off 11 balls, two fours, and the one six. Thank you for your company here at the Kummerfeld Sport for Ryan. That was match two. For those just tuning in, SG Findorf comfortably defeating the MTV Stallions. This is the Dream 11 European Cricket Series and we look forward to your company for match three.
And a welcome back here to all our viewers for the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld 2020. We're just about 10 minutes away from the start of the third match. PSV Han over Munden versus SG Findorf again. Playing back to back matches. PSV winning the toss, electing to field first. And they're just preparing themselves off camera to head out to field. Umpires just readying themselves. We'll be back for the first ball in around nine minutes.
Live back here at the Kummerfeld Sportverein. PSV Hanover Munden versus SG Findorf. With PSV winning the toss and electing to field. And joining me here in the commentary box, a very warm welcome to Shoaib Azam. Hi guys, good afternoon to everyone. Looking forward to a thrilling game. Both teams are looking good. Uh, won both games. PSV against KSV, they were just outstanding. And same goes for SGF Bremen. I mean, these guys just chased it down very quickly. Yeah. No officials just appear to me making the final preparations. As the PSV batsman. SGF Batman, and we are waiting for them. I beg your pardon, SGF Batman. I think Aval Khan is getting warmed up for the first over. He balls with a good pace, final length. Yeah. So I was his victim in the first match. Well, you can see why. Quite a powerful physique there. Yeah, I mean, you just see a guy who's running towards you like an elephant. <laughs> well, He's a powerful guy, yeah. A very well toned elephant, then, <laughs> perhaps. And here come the batsmen. It's going to be Hamid, Hamid Vardak, Vardak again. Yeah. Again, the two batsmen in their resplendent, respective green and red helmets the non-striking batsman Shafkat number three Shafkat after their excellent batting performance in the previous game yeah Awal Khan is going to ball the first ball Aval Khan, Safi. So, we are ready to go. First ball. So, here comes Awan. Awal Khan, Safi. Into Vardak for the first ball. And this is a shortish ball down leg side. He's clipped that away. Down to fine leg. And they'll get one run. Well ball, well ball, come on. I think he, if he's going to ball to Hamid uh, again, he will just hit him for the six on the leg side. Uh, he must come a bit straighter to him. Hamid is very strong on leg and offside. And also technically, everyone knows in North Hamid the name. Safi in again. Shafkat for his first delivery, and this is a wide ball outside the off stump, and it's called wide. Not interested in chasing that, Shafkat Ashraf. You're well left. And the funny thing is, if we call uh, Awal Khan a uh, big guy, powerful, sometimes when he balls, the ball doesn't come to the bat, it keeps low, and that's very kind of dangerous. You don't expect it. Safi again. This is a full ball. It's uh, it's sort of sliced away to gully, and there's no run. Actually, Shafkat missed that. He usually, he doesn't miss such balls. It was kind of low, full toss. Could have gone on the leg side or maybe straight, but maybe he didn't judge it good. Bowler comes in once again, and this is a straighter ball pitching on middle and off. It's been driven. It's going to be a four. Straight yeah. to the cover boundary for four. Did you get a ball today in the commentary box today? A ball? Yeah, I mean, someone hit the ball and it came here. Oh, I see. Uh, we had a few close calls with some sixes <laughs> over mid wicket. But um, a lot of those sixes I mean, well too far. Away as Awal Khan Safi comes in to bowl again, and this is a shortish delivery which is not quite timed, but they will get one run to mid on. Shorter ball there, didn't quite 
middle it or time it, it fell safe. Avalkan likes to hit the deck. I mean, sometimes he's uh, a bit predictable when you are in uh, batting and you can just sometimes you can just predetermine what he's going to do. He likes to hit the deck. So we can't again. This is a straighter delivery, which is punished down the ground by Hava Hamid, and it's four, four runs in the mid-on cow corner direction. A well-controlled hit there from Varak. It doesn't like. It doesn't look like that. Uh, SGF is tied from the last match. Hamid is just continuing from the last match where he left. Uh, where he le he left. I think someone needs to go there to find the ball from Kais side. <laughs> okay. Safadi continued. Let's see how he recovers from that second four of the over. And as he steams in again, and this delivery is a wide delivery outside the off stump. There's a sort of slash at it by Vardak, but it is called a wide. And Khan Safi really needing to concentrate on his accuracy here in this very first over. Coming in again to Vardak. And this is also outside the off stump. It's chopped down toward point. There's been a misfield, and they will scamper through for a single. The fielder at point there failing to get his body behind the ball. I think PS4 is having kind of slippery hands. It's the second ball they missed. Maybe the rest did them the damage. It was a bit long for them. Maybe all that hand sanitizer. <laughs> at any case, that's the end of the over. 12 runs conceded, so a very good start there. So the captain coming in for the ball, Amin Zadan. The one thing I notice in uh, PS4 uh, team that all of them, they like to hit the deck. I mean, very much. It is so almost everyone, they, they are just kind of hitting it short and trying to hit your helmet. There is some discussion going on with the fielder. I mean Zadran, quite a towering figure. To bowl to Vardak. As he saunters in now, coming right arm around the wicket and it's a reasonably straight delivery. Punched straight back down the ground by Vardak. And that'll be four. The ball went to say hello to our cameraman team there. A very well placed shot from Hamid Vardak. Second ball now for Zadran, and this is a another foolish ball outside the off stump. It's punched straight to the fielder at cover, and there's no run. It's usually, the APS4 team is very agile in the fielding. Um, I would expect something like this that we just saw more times in this game. So I'd run again, and this oh. is a short delivery outside the off stump. Vardak wonders what he could have made with that. Sort of pulls out of a pull shot. A bit slow. Perhaps deceived by the pace. A missed opportunity, but we'll see if he has a chance for another. He will come back. No now doing again, and this is a full Here lofty ball outside the off stump, and Vardak dispatches that toward long off for four. I mean, can't believe it, but if you ball a ball like this to Hamid, he's going to finish you. And we have still to see. Zad run again, and this one's just outside the off stump. Varak flirts with a, a back foot offside shot, and there's no run straight through to the keeper. 
खाइटला की तो Zad run. This is a straighter delivery outside the off stump and a seemingly uncharacteristic shot there by Vardak. Trying to hit through the leg side with a ball well wide of the off stump. And that's the end of the over. I think the pace is doing the magic. Hamid likes to hit the fast ball if you, you have a pace and he will just put you through the covers. I'm looking forward to Shafkat. He didn't get much chance in this match for the two overs, so I believe there will be kind of cracking shots coming in. And it's going to be a change of bowling. This is a practice ball, a practice run up, just to get his line right. Bowler Nadir Khan as he comes in this time and it's a oh goodness it's a it's a six that's one thing it's been hit over cow corner it was a ball pitched on middle probably a good length and straight over cow corner into the shed for six runs and I'm going to start here for the bowler I just asked you before coming here if you got a ball here and <laughs> commented uh, luck or bad luck. Well, Shoaib, that was probably the closest we had yet. <laughs> I think the ball is damaged. I told you, uh, Shafkat, um, I'm just looking forward to see a few shots from him and there he goes. Well, not a great deal along with the wrong with the delivery. And he picked that off very nicely. Let's see how Nadir Khan will respond as he charges in now. Pulling Radamar in the wicket and it's a clean bold. Straight delivery, pitching middle and off. And 1-6 was enough in this case. Kept a bit low. I mean, this is the, the problem today with the pitch. Oh, it was coming in. Maybe he just missed at it. Going outside and then hitting the middle stump. Well, it's certainly proven yet again. Straight, full bowling will be rewarded here. One six and then out. We could call that almost a win for the bowler. Commented as close. Or in any case, an exceptionally good follow up delivery. New batsman. Aziz. As it does, I'd see. Who will take strike? Very talented. And these two guys have uh, taken out Freeman quite a couple of times from trouble. So I believe there will be some support here for Hamid Badak. He takes guard, and Nadir Khan comes in again. This time it's another straight delivery just outside the off stump. It's fended away to point and there's no run. Good check from Aziz. He's a very sensible player. He's not going to play silly shots. But you never know. One good ball. And they're in again. And this is a shortish delivery which is pulled away for four. He loves it. Pulled just in front of square. The bowler just falling a little bit shorter. The batsman taking a step back to get a little bit more height and dispatching that delivery. Short bowling being punished. Especially in case of Aziz. If you are going to bowl him short, he will just punish you. He's very strong there. And again, and this ball's uh, just short of a length. Prodded out towards 
point. Think about a run, but there's no run there. And sensibly sent back by the non-striker. Happy to see Assad is coming back in his agile fielding. The guy who just threw the ball. In and this ball straight and just <laughs> defended straight back down the pitch. Assad uh, is from PSV. Um, the guy was standing on the point. He had been a very good big keeper in the previous season. Few fielding changes. Avalhan coming back. The end of the over. And I think it's the end of the power play as well. So. Zadran and again to Vardak and it's a very wide delivery outside the off stump the keeper even fumbles it it's called a wide that's Avalkan falling coming back after the first over SG Flindorf 31 for 1 is another short ball is coming and this ball is <laughs> shortish outside the off stump and the keeper takes it cleanly this time. Vardak just taking a little bit of time to internalise the bounce. We may expect to see him playing these offside shorter balls with a little more confidence as soon as he's confident with his ability in reading the pitch and bounce. 32 runs in three overs for one week hit T10 game. Safi this time, another wide ball outside the off stump and another wide. In our common cricket terms, uh, we call it if you push the ball, then it's going to be wide. And this is the case for with Awal Khan. As I, I mentioned, he, he just has enough power and always tries to make the batsman taste the ball. So definitely is going to ball the white balls. Safi in again and this is a ball which appears to pitch on uh, leg and middle. Vara gives himself some room and punches it down to mid off and they take a single. You have been commenting from for a long time maybe. Did you understand quite a few words from Pashto? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> I mean, I've been playing with, uh, f with them for five years now, so I can just understand the context sometimes. Safi in again, and this ball is a short ball, which has been dispatched over the boundary, over cow corner. And it's a catch. Six runs. A crowd catch. <laughs> I told you, if you are going to bowl, is a, uh, Aziz uh, a short ball? Definitely, it's going out. He loves to hit the short balls. No room forever. No mercy. No quarter shown. Safi in again. How can he regroup? It's a short ball again, but it's just outside the off stump. Vardak scrambles through. They make a single comfortably in the end. Excellent backing up there at the non striker end. Again, a bit of more sanitizer there. Slippery hands. It could have been a good run out. Hamid adjusting his footsteps. Safi in. This ball's shortish again outside the off stump. Punched by Vardak to cover. There's a shy at the stumps which appears to hit the base. But it's a single in the end. This left and right combination is just disturbing the fielders so they have to run around. I mean I can understand the pain.
Safi comes in again, and this ball is another short ball. It keeps low. Uh, look to hit that ball over mid-wicket again. Ends up passing beyond the off stump. And that's the end of the over. Fendorf, 42 runs for the loss of just one wicket after four overs. I was just mentioning that uh, if you see Abul Khan, he's a powerful guy, but sometimes he balls and you expect it's going to be short ball, but the ball just keeps low. And it just, it just, it just happened. So he's finished with his two overs, Kurta. Nadir Khan is coming back. Vardak to take up the strike. <laughs> With Nadir Khan Ramani coming in right arm round the wicket to the left arm of Vardak. And this is a straightish ball which is punished straight back over his head. It's a drop catch there at mid off or long off. I think Vardak a little disappointed with himself, but I they take a single. It's it's a uh, commentator curse. I was just saying to uh, you that um, Asad is a very good player. Last year he, he was quite active, but he just dropped it. A sitter. Good bowling, good bowling, good bowling. Come on, good bowling. Ramani in now. Ball's a foolish ball, also There's hit in the one. air, it's up in the air, it won't be caught. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, Just keep falls on. beyond the deepest mid-wicket fielder, and he'll take a single. This is going to hurt them. That's not at all a good fielding. If you give Hamid or Aziz a second chance, you can forget it. There will be no mercy now. Hamid back on strike. The ball comes in. This is a foolish ball on off stump and it's punched down the ground again. And they'll take one run. So Hamid is just freeing up, freeing up his arms now. I mean, they still have five overs, so maybe he can just wait for one or two more overs. Or maybe the captain has another strategy there. Ramani in. Dawodzi, and this is hit straight up in the air. Deep and long, it's gone over the fielder's head. Maybe we, we should ask our cameraman to just come outside and catch the <laughs> ball. <laughs> well, the cameraman or the umpire would have signalled six there. He did manage to get that over the boundary. Very high ball, swirling in the breeze. Six runs to the total. Looking very healthy here now in the 50s is SG Findorf. So Asad is coming inside the circle. Captain didn't like it, his efforts there. Let's see how Nadir is going to respond now. Last ma uh, last over 1-6 and he then got the wicket. He comes charging again and this ball is a straightish ball on leg stump. It's a drop though. It was popped up in the air to mid-wicket. Another catch put down. I can't believe. I can't really believe. I mean, the bowler can't do much more. I mean, he three catches in one over dropped. No way. And the rest is doing the damage to them. He's still lying there. Oh dear. A foolish ball down leg side. It's hit in the air again. It's up. It's another chance. It's another drop catch. This time it's long on. Can you believe? Seriously, four catches, one over. Nadir Khan looking around the field in disbelief that his teammates have let him down yet again. And that's the end of his over. Three drop catches, was it, shall we? Four catches. Four catches. There were one half chance running behind. So one here. Uh, the second one was uh, from Assad. The third one was running behind. The same guy, Adil, here. Number 17. Come on, come on, Zay, and the fourth Zay, one now. On. I mean, T10 game, four catches, one over. Can't believe it. We'll see how SG Findorf are able to capitalize on this. Chaba, Chaba, come on, come on. I can just see the disappointment on Aval Khan's face standing right in front of us. Number 22. 
Ebola, Zahir Khan Jamali. Bowling to Vardak, already let off. A very valuable chance. As he bowls, left arm over the wicket. This is a very high ball from Vardak. And he's finally been caught at mid wicket okay. after a series of balls in the air. That's, that's another perspective now. I mean, Hamid got so many chances, so there would have been more longer inning for him. But I'm not sure what was the message from the captain. Just see the ball hit the ball? Because I know Zahir, is, he doesn't have much pace on that, so he, he balls you a bit slow balls. And that's what we saw, Hamid, is, Hamid was struggling with the slow, slow balls. Yeah, whether he was having difficulty judging the bounce with the shorter deliveries. Well, he certainly made a mess of that, hitting the ball straight up in the air. Third time. For the third time. Third time, unlucky. And the fielding side was lucky now. So Amai is there, number one. He's also a hard hitter. Amir Khalid to face his first ball. And this is a ball just a little bit fuller. He's managed to cut that through gully for four runs. Excellent way to start. Amar is a non-strike non stand. Of course. It's hard to tell them apart with that bright green and dark blue helmet. Well, out there. the blue helmet and the green helmet are certainly <laughs> not too familiar. Uh, Jamali charges in again, and this one is a straightish ball pitching on middle and off, and it's just hit down to cover for a single. And now we might see Amar Khalid's first ball. I, I think he will like it. I know him. He is uh, he's a very good player of slow balls or spin. And Zahir, as we see, he doesn't have much pace on there. Here he is for his first ball from Jamali. And this ball is a shortish ball which doesn't get too high but just on the leg side. And he does get off the mark to square leg, just a single. And good kept from the keeper. There was just strange bounce. Not quite the four to get off the mark as we'd hoped for. But a run nonetheless. Every runs count. Navali in again, and this ball is down leg side. There doesn't appear to be any bat or any glove or pad, and it's given a wide. What do you think about the umpiring standard until now? I mean, sitting outside, watching your your opinion. I mean, are you satisfied? Or well, umpires are always to. They make the calls thought. on the best of their ability. There, there may have been that one off the glove in the first match, but yeah, that was the case. Batman Jamali was again, and this ball is just on middle stump, and it's been slapped over mid wicket, over cow corner for six runs. That was Aziz, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, Shaib in the heat of the moment. Umpires have got a million things going through their head. Technology has helped the game in uh, the matches where difficult decisions have been able to be reviewed. Unfortunately, that isn't the case here. But I, I mean, think we've seen. I would say overall, I'm satisfied. I mean, these things happen. You can't just be 100% every time. And this is just on pitched on middle stump and hit back to the bowler. Yeah, well, you know, making a decision to the best of their ability. They're knowledgeable in the laws. Yeah. Some okay. decisions. Obviously, can go the wrong way. That's the end of the over in any case. And the thing is, uh, it's also for me is important to know umpires who is going good on the field because I'm also umpiring officer or not. So 
I know those, these guys personally. And even when I'm playing with my team, I need to be kind of neutral. So because these guys are my team, and I need to support them. If I don't support them, then the captains will just haunt them. That's going to be difficult. Aziz Davadzi has amassed 30 already of his team's score of 66 for two from six overs. And it's going to be Adil. a change of bowler with Mustafa in, who bowls a slowish ball, which has been hoiked over mid... We are not going to find that. Mid-wicket again. This has gone into the neighbouring field. That's six runs. I told you Amar really liked when there's a spin bowler. So you can expect one or two more shots from him in this same over. Come on, come on. Only if Adil bowls a cuckoo one, maybe he can escape. Mustafa in again, right arm around the wicket. I told another you. wide ball, and it's <laughs> another ball you. hit into the field. <laughs> That's gone just about any further. Oh, not quite as far. Come on. I told you. There's very, very dangerous more is coming, areas. more is coming. So two sixes from this over already. How can Guraz Mustafa return here? It's a third ball. This ball gets this through the batsman and through the keeper. There's a an attempted bye, which isn't taken in the end. Sent back by the striking batsman, the non-striker hurtling down the wicket. And there's no run. Mustafa, this ball is short outside the off stump. It's been plugged in the air. It's going to fall safe just before the long off, uh, long on fielder, and they'll take one run. Mustafa in again. This ball's short outside the off stunt, cut past this point. And careers into the net, and that's four runs. Mustafa in again. This is a lofty delivery outside the off stump. An attempted cut, which is missed. And through to the keeper. End of the over. 66 for two, SG Findorf. 6 over, 62. I mean, if Amai is going to be there and there's another spin over, then it will be quick, very quickly 100 over, 100 plus runs. So Zahid is coming back. He can also be handy for Amar. Lack of pace. Bowler comes in, left arm over the wicket, and this is slapped down the ground. Slapped, come on, come on, come on. but fielded come on, good, by the man at cow corner. Adil has uh, dropped three catches today. Probably going to get a stern talking to. He's captain at the end of the day. I hope three for two. I hope, I hope that he's going to remake his dropped catches with the sixes. He likes to long sixes. So here's Jamali coming into bowl. And this is a batsman giving himself room, stepping across the stumps, and six runs over cow corner. Aziz, Aziz, really taking control here. And Jamali to regroup now, the third ball of the over. And this is a shortish ball outside the off stump. It's hit down to cover. The fieldman has fumbled, and that's four runs. I can't believe it. How floppy they are in the fielding today, PSV. I really think it's commentators cross. So 
Awal Khan is replacing this guy. Awal Khan is running. Maybe this will bring some good to PS4 in the field. And the boulder coming in. With a good length ball fading away. Maybe a little short just outside the off stump. A bit of a duck over it. There's no run. So Amava just saying to the batsman that we have already got 11 runs in the solo, so maybe you can just be careful. But I believe it's already going to be the last stroke of the innings, three overs left, so they can just... The ball are in again, and this batsman comes charging down, the wicket punches it down to mid on. They think about a second, decline, and there's just the one run to the total. Good balling, good balling, good balling, Shaba. Ball is here, Jamali. Two good balls after this. One four and one six. The closeout is over now. And this ball is short outside the leg side. Leg stump, and it's hit into the field again. That's six runs. Really no mercy shown here for any short deliveries. Do we have enough balls today? And that is the end of the over. A very expensive one. There's another change of bowling here. And it's going to be. Let's see what he has left. I'm in. Bowling right arm over the wicket, and this is a ball pitching middle and off, just short of a lick. Hit down to cover for a single. Not very good delivery. I, I don't believe. I, I mean, I can't understand why are they just bowling short. They know that Amar is these. They just love, love to hit the short balls and they just saw it uh, in the last over to Zahir, three sixes. I mean Zadran in again and this is another short ball, yeah. punished, dispatched, cookie cutter, same story, into the field again. They are not learning from their mistakes. Six runs. Really putting the pedal to the metal. SG Finsdorf comfortably over 100 now. It's already one on one. This is real teach and cricket. Zadran, it's a not so short, but very high. My goodness, that's another six into the field. I think we should order new balls for today. Otherwise, we will be just playing with. The balls from S4. I mean, Zadran, not really sure what to make of himself here. Now, not even, well, not only Aziz Dawadzi with his 46, Hamar Khalid, accelerating away. Is, is it going to be the first 50 of uh, ECS, Dream 11, Kumafeld? We'll see now as Amin comes in, and this is a shortish delivery, a little bit slower. Slowish and it's shortish. another six. Shortish and slower. So I would just say it's a gift. Trying everything he can, I mean Zadran, the slower ball was not it. And Amar Khalid really taking this attack to pieces. What will Zadran do this time? He comes in again, and this is a straightish ball, and it's another ball straight back over his head. Didn't do a lot wrong with that ball, but that's another six. One, six, 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 this over. One, six, 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 six. Is he going to score the second fastest 50 in not? Who is the fastest, Shawab? <laughs> I think everyone knows. Yeah, so I scored last. Oh, it's 45 on 11. 
So yeah, I scored uh, 11 balls, 50 last Sunday. Maybe he can just do it at, at, on 12 balls. Let's see what Sadran can do with his last ball of this over. And this is a slightly shorter delivery and he again. Did that. <laughs> and he's hit another six. That is 50 for Amar Khalid. The first 50 of ECS Kumarfil, Dream 11. 50 runs, 51 not out. <laughs> off just 12 deliveries. And look at him, he's delighted. Raises his bat to the crowd. That's the end of the over with five sixes and a single from it. Isn't it amazing? And poor five old Amin Zadran. He is taking his cap and heading back out to the field with a very sorry look on his face. He's checking his pad now. Maybe he was angry he didn't get chance last match. I mean, they chased it very well, so... And now we've got a change of bowling with... Right arm over the wicket, and this ball is a straight ball. The batsman steps just outside the off stump and manages to get a four just over square leg. Daud Zadvan. SG Findorf showing no mercy. Not at all. I mean, it's also the last overs now. One over left. All guns out. Daud Zadran, the bowler. He'll have seen that previous over and will be wondering if he can possibly escape. I think every possible thing went wrong for PS4 in this match. Coming into bowl, and this is a straighter ball, slower ball, a little bit... A little bit slower. It's just punched down to the deep mid-wicket, and they'll pick up a single. So Aziz also got the 50 on 22 balls. Well deserved. Oh, indeed, 50 to Aziz Zavadzi. As Dabud Zadran comes in again, and this ball is pitching on leg stump. It's been swatted away to deep mid wicket, just a single. Just look at the depth in STF betting lineup. Two openers gone, one down, second down, Amar, Aziz. They are just taking everything away from PS4. Dabud Zadran into ball, and this ball is just clipped away on the leg side, pitched around middle. And they'll take a single down to fine leg. Direct hit on the stumps there. Thought about a second. But cleaned up quickly enough by the point fieldsman. And one will be all. A good over. And you know, three balls, six runs. Last over. One fifty on cards. It would seem that way. Two more sixes. Amar can do that. Dawood. Batsman advancing already down the wicket. It's come to him on the full. It's been slapped to deep mid wicket and caught. Finally. But very good inning from Amar. He took everything away from PS4. Amar Khalid bringing balls, up his 52. Amazing. 50 off. Just 12 balls was it yes. show up. Yes. Yeah. I still hold the record of 11. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't I forgotten. <laughs> I will just make myself famous here. Enjoy the time. <laughs> so that's the end of a very lightning fast innings from Amar Khalid. Everyone enjoyed that. Who managed eight sixes in his innings of 52. 30 balls, 13 balls. So, yeah. That's a hard act to follow from the new batsman. It's already 48 runs from sixes. And the new batsman here, Ami Farouk Amidi. Amidi, who's wearing quite a Fleshy. interesting headdress there. <laughs> Is that to keep cool, or what's the? Uh, uh, I never understood that. He he does it always. I mean, I'm whenever I play against him. <laughs> I will just see, maybe sometimes it's just short or it's long today, a bit longer. Yeah. Amiri now. Some people just feel comfortable with that. It's kind of sport. To face what will be the last ball of this innings. And he let's see hit a six. what he decides to do. That would Zadran. It. It's a slowish ball down leg side. It won't be the last ball of the innings. That ball is called wide. 
And there's a bit of a chat between batsman and the bowler. The already enormous total of 139. Look at that. A gift with a wide from what would have been the last delivery. Double Zadran attempting again. This ball is down the leg side and it's hoiked into our favourite field. It's six runs to finish off the innings of SG Findorf. They will finish with a total of 146 for the loss of three wickets off their 10 overs. Quite an impressive inning from SGF Findorf. I mean, you, you always, always expect uh, such batting lineup from uh, Findorf, but that was just everything went on in their way. Drop catches, boundaries, slope fielding from PS4, but you can't take, away, take it away from uh, Findorf. I mean, they have a quality lineup. So Shaweb, uh, quite a considerable target there. How do you rate the chances of PSV, Hanover Munden? I mean, it's T10 cricket, so you can't take them out, but it doesn't look very optimistic. Uh, if you look at the bowling lineup for SG Findorf, Alex is there, Hamid doesn't bowl because of um, injury. The only chance for them can be Shafkat maybe because he's not a regular bowler. So maybe they have an hope um, and their main hopes will rely on Adil who just hit us in Hanover, hit out 82. And they scored 144, so they are capable. But if Adil gets out early then it will be tough. And if, if they are going to show similar as they did in the uh, fielding, we can forget it. So Shoaib, when do we expect to see you compiling the fastest 100 in this format? I just scored uh, l 100 last week as well on 44 balls. T2000. So one, one match, T20-100, uh, 44 balls, and then the second match, it was uh, 11 balls, 52. I just promised my captain that tomorrow he will, I will give him a 50. I mean, today I'm not very impressed with my betting there. <laughs> well, I'm sure your many fans around the world now will be keeping a close eye on you, ready for... There was an even quicker 50. There, there, there was a, a funny incident. Um, my family in Pakistan, so they were watching TV. And I got out and uh, my brother sent me a text. Um, when are you coming to bed? I said, you can turn off the TV now. <laughs> I'm already out. So, just the short innings break here. SG Findorf, to recap, scoring 146 for three wickets off their 10 overs. PSV Hanover Minden. We'll be heading out to bat in 13 minutes and we will be back with you in just a few moments.
So both PSV Hanover Munden and SG Flindorf back on the field, just awaiting umpires. Both teams ready to power on in this match. Quite a massive mountain ahead of them, PSV Hanover Munden. Already starting from the first ball with a, a run rate of almost 15 and over required. So it looks to be Imran Hafiz to face the first ball of the innings. He's accompanied at the other end by Adil Ahmad with Iftika Khan to begin for SG Findorf. Play just about to get underway. Nifty Khan coming in right arm over the wicket. With play to resume now. As Nifty Khan steams in with a ball just outside the off stump. It's a, a bit of a attempt to drive at it by Imran Hafiz. Through to the keeper and there's no run. Again, and this is a another similar ball, just short of a length outside the off stump. Imran Hafiz, obviously under great pressure here with such a required run rate, unable to connect. Chance for him to analyse the ball, the bounce, and the pitch. As the bowler comes in again, and this is another ball just outside the off stump. It's hit straight back to the bowler who knocks it down near the non-striking batsman's feet. There's no run. Captain Hamid Vardak giving the disinfected ball a good shine. Bowler in again and this is a wider ball outside the off stump. It could have been just within the tracks. The umpire didn't think so. That's one wide. 
to open the account for PSV Hanover Munden. Khan again. And this ball is also just outside the off stump. It Huffy has tried to punch that through mid wicket. Seemed to hit it into his own body. And there's no run. outside the offside again it's been punched down the ground it's going to be four runs just punched between cover and mid off four runs to the total so I'm back from my short break lunch break I would say I can see that if the car is bowling one of the legends in SGF lineup. Very, really nice person. But the issue is again, no pierce, short yeah, balls. And again, and this ball's just down the leg side. There's a half appeal as the ball spills away, and there's no run. That's the end of the over. Five off it. Five for the loss of no wicket. Sometimes you hear very funny conversations with the sponge stub mics. I mean, you can't understand, but. So, Alex coming. There's a few words I can pick up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they are t sometimes they are internal plannings, you know, within the team. Those might be a little complicated <laughs> for uh, my present vocabulary. Alex, the new bowler. You should take crash course Urdu or Hindi. Alexander Knappmann. Coming in right arm over the wicket. That would be a treat to watch. As he steams in now, and this is a wide leg side full toss. And it's a no ball. No ball. Plus free one hit. run and down to fine leg, and we're going to see a free hit. So free hit now to Imran Hafiz. And this ball is punked high in the air. It looks like it could be caught by the fielder at mid-wicket. It is. Sorry, follow. So the free hit saved him. The free hit saved him. There'll be no run. Just look at the shape of uh, Alex. The ball is... <laughs> One run, rather, as Alexander comes in again. And this ball is outside the off stump. It's wide and it's slapped over point four six. That's what I was talking. If this guy is going to stay for the next three or four overs and he is going to hit a few shots, then PS foul can trim off. Maybe a win or closer competition. Alexander Knappmann. A wide, wide ball outside the off stump. That's one wide. Maybe it deserved two. And looking a little discouraged is the tall knap man. I think he just need to calm down. So one no ball, six, and then wide. Let's see how he recovers now as he steams in again. And this ball is a short ball outside the off stump. It's been plonked up in the air over car corner, and it's a comfortable six. Somewhere between Cow Corner and Long On. And poor Alexander Knappman. The game is on. Wondering what he can do next ball. Well, perhaps not offer so much width. We've seen repeatedly today any stump-to-stump -to -stump bowling will be rewarded. 
I think this is what he's going to have to aspire to. Just having a chat with Vardak there. Taking slip out. Pushing the slip back to a third man on the boundary, uh, on the fielding circle. As Knappmann tries again, and this ball is closer to the stumps. And another attempt at a six by the look. But it's a dot ball to the keeper. <coughs> if SGF is going to give him more chance, this guy is going to be a big danger for them. At the lemon pick. See the ball hit the ball. The only option they have now. Oh, and again, cannot mind. The batsman advances down, hits the ball under his foot. And there's no run. That would have hurt. He will see at home. Maybe a blue spot there. How many balls? Four? We can see Yamaha laughing in front of us. Scored just 50 on 12 balls. Knappman in. This ball is a little straighter on middle stump. It's been spotted away there to deep mid wicket. They'll pick up a single. <laughs> <laughs> seemingly jolly mood in the field there and that's the end of the over here's for Hanover Munden 22 for the loss of no wicket I can see that the SGF body language is very relaxed. I mean, they're just seeing 146 on the to t uh, total target. But <laughs> believe me, if this guy is going to stay there for two more if overs... You can't in again. This ball is outside the off stump. It's been slapped back down the ground. There's not going to be a chance of a catch there at long on, off rather, but he will get the ball back in. And they'll pick up a comfortable single. I think... Quarantine has done something to Iftikhar. He got a little belly there. Maybe he needs some more time to get ready for the season. I mean, T20s are there. A long season ahead, nine games. To Kieran again. This ball is straight and pitching on middle and leg. It's been chipped down to long on. I'll take a single. And very good field placement from Ahmed Verdek, the captain of SGF. Here to go. Shortish delivery. Uh, That's right. The bowler not too happy about it being called a wide. It's uh, possibly bouncing over the batsman's head. That was too high, I would say. That was a uh, right fight. Um, a correct call from the umpire. If they're not so sure, they'll have another opportunity. He's second and final over. He comes in again to the right hander, and this ball is also shortish. It's punched in the air. There's an opportunity there. No, there's not. It's going to run for four. The opportunity being to stop the, uh, the stop the boundary it was not taken, and four to the total. Adil is getting warm up. I would love to see another innings like Amar or Aziz Daudzai from Adil. That would have been fun. I mean, being instead of just a rubber stump. Dead rubber. Nifty car to Adil, and this ball is That's pitching on the leg side. He swatted it away just behind square for another four. Adil is on fire. It's 29, 2.3 overs. Hamid is giving few instructions to Iftikhar. Let's see if he... He comes in again and this ball is a shortish ball outside the off stump. It's been clobbered but dropped at deep mid wicket. 
Another drop catch, another dropped outfield catch today. And the fielder there, very the disappointed with his effort. The sixth one, uh, seventh one in the match. First one from SGF. Ooh, he just slipped. He was just going away from the ball and then he decided, oh, I have to push the brakes now. to get in and this ball is just short of a length wow. outside the off stump it's been punched away back with behind point the field does an excellent job of keeping it within the field of play and they'll just get to wonderful feeling there out in the deep and that's the end of the over here's for Johan Munden 36 for the loss of no wicket a very good fielding effort from Alex after three overs. And we'll and see. SGF Bremen, wa they were 31 for one in three overs. So if we compare the scores, it's going head to head. So Rashid is going to ball. Another legend from SGF. Have been very successful over the years. Played a vital role in peak seasons of SGF. Rashad Mahmoud bowling to Adil Ahmad. He bowls with a very interesting bowling style. So you, you won't expect that the ball is going to get the pace or it will turn but he, he has got something. The next two overs can just set the game in either side. I mean, SGF took the pace from fifth, sixth over onwards. <coughs> it appears to be just a little administrative difficulty here. <laughs> A little discussion here between umpires and officials. Not entirely clear what this is concerning at uh, this stage. And they look like they may have reached a conclusion at any rate. I think Meta did the job the issue solved now. We can carry on. But the thing is uh, <coughs> such small breaks just break the momentum. For bowler it's not going to be much more damaging because he's already a new bowler, but the Metsman is already there so this small breaks is just going to put breaks. Here is Russia. Oh bowls a no ball. It's been hit on the pad, fading down leg, but a no ball. So any appeal. In the bowler, vain. bowler can't believe it. Let's see the replay if there is. The opportunity was there to put that ball into the field as well. However, he failed to connect. Adil Ahmad. Free hit to Adil Ahmad. Let's see. We had one catch off a free hit. One of the few catches. As Rashid Mahmoud comes in, and this ball is shortish, straightish, just outside the off stump. Adil Lakhmad nowhere near it. Coming back foot. And a bit of a wasted free hit there. There's a filter saying in that this, this, this bowler never bowled a no ball in his life. I mean, this kind of disagreements, it's also kind of the... Mahmoud again, this ball's it. outside the off stump, it's clobbered down to deep mid-wicket. The fieldsman knocking it very nicely in front of himself. And there's just one run. Quite well so far. Good over from Rashid, three balls. Mahmoud again, this ball's outside the off stump, it's a swipe. 
I believe that may have hit the wicket keeper's helmet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And there's no run. Mahmoud again. This is a ball just short of a length outside the off stump. Dangerously close to the stumps. Another swing and a miss. I believe the, he just needs to give strike to Adil Ahmed. That's the only thing he can do for PS4 at the moment. Some very aggressive batting here. But failing to connect. At least with the success of their predecessors. Rashad in again. This ball is fuller. It's also just dangerously close to the off stump there. Did everything right. Batsman missed. And very unlucky Whoa, that not was to good. pick up. Going outside. Outswing a bit. Inches away from the wicket. Can Rashad bring that ball in just another few centimetres? I think we'll see a few stumps rattled if so as he charges in again. And this ball is short outside the off stump and it's punched through cover. It's uh, going to be fielded there by the man at deep uh, mid off. They run back for a second. The throw is wild. Any chance at a run out. Dissolved. And that's the end of the over. PSV Hanmunden 40 for the loss of no wickets after four. Did you know that Chafkat and uh, Rashida brothers, number three, number five? I did not recognize that. Okay, so the opener from SGF and Sh Rashid who just finished the over, the both are brothers, playing in the same team. And I imagine the sibling rivalry could be quite fierce. <laughs> so one is the opener and the other one is the, the bowler, so maybe they have chat at home every game, after every game, who performed well. I'm sure they played many hours in the backyard. Uh, I... Um, I I think they have um, built a pitch in their backyard with a bowling machine and uh, Shafkat used to practice there in last seasons. I mean now his cricket has just gone a bit backwards because of the work. He doesn't play much. Adil uh, Ahmad on strike with Amar Khalid coming into bowl and this is a slowish ball just pitching on leg stump and it's smashed over cow corner. You know Close what? to the square leg. Amar, field. Amar just got treated, so he was hitting the spinners and someone is going to hit him and I can tell you that there will be more coming now. Well, that was one big six, we'll see what he can follow that up with. I'd hope for some straight bowling, let's see what uh, Khalid comes up with. This is another ball on leg side and it's swapped away. This time just four runs, quite square. The fielder at deep square leg had no chance. And this over already conceding 10. Two balls, 10. So Amas caught 52. That's the 50 up there. It's already 42. Khalid again. This is a wide ball outside the off stump. It's smashed high in the air. There's a chance there for the fielder yeah. at long off, but he can't get there. They'll get just one. 50 up for Hanmunden, 4.3 overs. Amar Khalid, it's a slowish ball outside the off stump. He attempted a sweep there. Trying to play on the leg side from a ball well outside the off stump. Khalid, this ball is a little bit straighter and it has been an attempted sweep down to deep mid wicket. They'll take one. So he missed one ball, the next ball got single. So he this ball oh. is straightish. It's just outside the off stump. He misses, keeper misses, and there's no run. Uh. Five was 52. Yeah. So they need 94 in five overs, if my math is correct. Well, the, the key figure here being. 10 wickets in hand, which we haven't seen in in many of the other innings. So the opportunity to... But, but, but the thing is, uh, the other batman, he's taking too many balls. He's not giving strike to the D-limit. 
And uh, that can just... Uh, oh! Lukman is the ball. Lukman Ahmed ball. coming in now. Bowling to Imran Hafiz. And this ball is just outside the off stump. It keeps very low. That could be in the batsman misses it and they scamper through for what appears to be... That's going to be interesting now. Adil against Lokman. He left, loves to hit spinners. I don't understand. Maybe they are taking too light at the moment uh, from STF. Maybe they could have waited for one or two overs more. Lokman into bowl. This ball is a wide ball Probably down yeah. the leg side. Full toss and dispatched to fine leg for four runs. For my curiosity, I, I'm just watching Lukman first time bowling in my five years in North Cricket. <laughs> they are making fun that we, they have, we have not enough balls anymore. We have lost so many balls this evening. Look, man. Looking to capitalize on that four. <laughs> The ball's been sourced. And he will continue now. And this ball is another full toss. It's been slapped over the fence. And it's, it's right into the fence. It's six runs into the net. Told you. Another poor leg side full toss there from Lakman Ahmed. And smashed into the netting. Another what can you do this time? It's another full <laughs> toss, smacked even and further over the netting into the field. Six runs again, full toss bowling on the leg side, really not doing Lachman Ahmed any favours here. Can you do anything better to Adil? I mean, he's there, he can see the ball, and just giving him full tosses. Well, I would try to make it bounce at least, yeah. Well, Luckman at it again. One, four, six, six, this over. And he's tried a ball which does pitch this time. Wow. It's on the offside. It's been slapped. Our cameraman. Straight. And it's another six. This time Three down sixes the ground. And we see another multiple six over. It, it was like three sixes in a row. So, hat trick of sixes. <laughs> Luckman to bowl his last last ball of his first over here. Let's see what he can conjure. This ball is outside Whoa. the last stump. It's That's amazing. Unfortunately for him it did not pitch. And there's another six straight down the ground. Is it going to be a twist here? A In the inning? Twist? Well, I mean, 75, 6 overs. <laughs> Quite right. I mean... 81. Yeah. Well, Findorf will be hoping they don't have too many overs like that. Or their rather large total of 146. So it's a 29 over. Four sixes, one four, and one run. So it's 29 in one over. I'm not sure if the captain will be having Luckman on again. No, <laughs> I don't believe... <laughs> I mean, they needed um, 94 in five overs, and now the equation has come down. It's 66 60 runs si required. 65 runs in 24 four overs, 24 balls. So what looked like an insurmountable lead. Amir is going to ball. He, he, he has a quite good pace and very intelligent bowler. This over can decide in which direction the match is going. Faru Kamiri, bowling to Imran Hafiz. Right, I'm over the wicket. It's a reasonably full length ball just on middle and leg and it's chipped away on the leg side for a single down to square leg. We have seen 350s in one match. T10 cricket at its best. 22-64, Adil Ahmed. Farouk. This ball is a short ball wow. outside the off stump, but it's been hoiked over mid-wicket yet again into the neighbouring field for six. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You can't just bowl a guy who is there from the beginning, and I believe he's 
ball is looking like for him like football so wherever you ball he's just going to put his bat and again this is a straighter ball this is completely missed by the batsman there's an appeal mm. there for what may have been caught behind by the keeper the umpire not having any interest at all and there's no run Amiri, this ball's wow. pitching on middle and off. Can't go any better. And it's six runs. Can't Home go any again. better. Adil Ahmad. And we're just about going to have to station a permanent member of the ground staff out there. Picking up, picking up the balls. This guy is amazing. I mean, if you give him chance, then definitely this will happen. Adil oh Ahmad, what can he do this time? Farouk in again, and this ball is a full ball on the stumps. He's just punched that one out to square leg, and they'll take one run. 95, 6.5 overs. Adil Ahmad moves to 77 from just 26 deliveries. There's still hope. Yeah, definitely. Bowler in again. This ball is very short. Yeah. It's almost so short it's been clipped over his head. Is and there a sign? It's a no, no. Okay, I thought it's no ball. No, it's four runs just behind the keeper. A very, very fine leg. It's a very short ball. So just to let you know, 47 of three overs. What do you say? 18 balls, 47 runs. It's very difficult to see. One good over can change to everything either side. It's very difficult to see that if Adil Ahmad stays in, that this game could possibly be won by SG Findorf. Just look at his stats there. The T1000 is also on cards. 23 runs he needs. I mean, if he's going to continue th like this. It's going to be Alexander Knappmann returning for his second over. as Knappmann comes into bowl from a hunched over stance and he's bowled a ball straight down the middle it's bounced over the top of middle and leg and there's no run seventeen balls forty seven runs Knappmann this is a full toss no on the leg side. It's been called it's no ball. No ball four. So it's a free hit now. And it's careered into the fence for four. So it's a six, uh, actually, without a ball. Four runs, one no ball. And then it's going to be a free hit now. No, Very well judged by the umpires. Not where you want to be bowling. We haven't seen a lot of success with leg side full tosses in this match for the bowlers. And the important thing is Adil Ahmed is just making of his uh, dropped catches. He dropped so many catches in the field and at least he's contributing. Either way, the team is getting benefited now. That's the 100 up for PSV Hunminden. What can Knappmann do? 17 balls, 42 runs. Knappmann in again. And this ball is short, Whoa. it's been clipped with an attempted pull shot it falls just in front of the batsman and bowler and there's no run every dot ball will put pressure on a deal I think the ball hit him his uh, shoulder and he's just putting his hand there he will see later at home what happened there Kaufman again this ball is a little bit straighter but perhaps outside the off stump it's been slashed over third man, and that's four runs. One hundred and eight for the loss of no wicket. Knappman in again. This ball's short. It's been. 
clubbed in the air somewhere towards mid off mid on rather who spills it over the boundary line for four he didn't particularly time that well Shoaib but are we going to see first T1000 30 balls in this competition possibly yeah today Knappmann this is another shortish ball. It's been clubbed down to deep mid wicket. They'll pick up a single. And Adil Ahmad moves to 90. On 32 balls. So 10 runs. Very much in. The first T10 100 in Kummerfeld. Knappmann. This ball is a reasonably straight ball just outside the off stump just short of a length straight through the keeper and that is the over it will be interesting who is going to ball the second uh, last two overs the captain is just looking for his options i can see Sa uh, shafkat is coming oh that would be interesting are you I, are they giving a plate, a gift like to Navid, uh, to Adil? With Shafkat bowling. Shafkat. That will be interesting. We will be bowling to Adil Ahmad, who is on 90 from just 32 deliveries faced. 34 runs required. Two overs. That's 17 runs per over, and with 10 wickets in hand. If these two batsmen do remain at the crease, it's hard to see how PSV Hanmunden could possibly walk away from this without a victory. Let's see. Shuff cut into bowl now. Right arm around the wicket. It's outside the Wow, that's a right sick. Down the ground. It's six runs off the first ball. This has been hit straight over mid off, long off, double long off. It would be a six in any ground. It would be a six in any crown. So I told you it's a gift for Adil giving ball to Shafkat. And Adil is going to get his century in four runs. So he's on 96 on 33 balls. That would be also the second fastest century. See what Shafkat can do with four to get. And it's, and it's a it century! And it's a century Adil for Adil Ahmad. 102, he raises his bat, salutes the adoring crowd and his team, thanks his partner. Incredible, incredible. 33, 102. Never seen anything like this. We have seen Afridi hitting 16 in my kin uh, childhood. But today, I'm just witnessing. Adil Ahmad evidently realizes that his job is not over yet. He's made 102 of 34 deliveries. But he's right back ready to continue and make sure he can win this game for PSV Hunter. Shaka comes in and it's another slap down the ground. He could get four there but it's not going to be four because the fielder very well placed there at deep mid wicket gets it back in and there's just one run. Imran Huff is now. Continue the mantle. Shafkat coming in. This ball is outside the off stump and Imran tries the same trick. It's six, six runs. It's a six run. So they have already 19 runs in on first four balls. 15 runs on 8 balls. The captain just gave the match to PSV with the ball going to Shafkat to ball second last over. Shafkat now to Imran Hafiz. And this ball is a very wide ball outside the off stump, outside the tram lines. And given a wide Shafkat trying everything here to try to avoid being hit out of the ground. Wide, however, to be re-bowled, and here it is. And this one's clubbed around the ground. This is going to go down to long off. And they pick up just a single. PS4 doing the trick here. They were the underdogs. Shafkat. Wide ball outside off stump. It's clipped over slip. A big thick edge and that's four behind the keeper. He's this just turning everything in gold, man. This is looking very dire now for SG Findorf as there are a mere 
is there anything Adil can't do today? I mean, he's just turning everything in gold. Edges are going for fours. Very lucky. Nine runs for victory. Final over. Hamid Vardak looking around his troops. Trying to make a decision here as to who should bowl this last over. So T10 cricket at its best, right? First day, and we have already two fifties in one century. And for sure there will be more interesting cricket coming up in the next days. Well, it looks like what could be the poison chalice has arrived with... So, the brother is going to bowl the last over. Yeah. Rashad Mahmoud. His brother from Shafkat. Who just cast got bang. Baba. It was Baba. Ba yeah. 25 runs in over. Last over. And poor Rashad will certainly be nervous. And some words of encouragement and comfort there by Captain Vardak. Where to bowl, where not to bowl. Imran Hafiz on strike, 24 of 21. Playing a secondary role to Adil Ahmad. 107 off 36 deliveries, the job not over yet. Here comes Rashad. What can he do with his first ball? It's a full ball just outside the off stunt, just plunked down toward the fielder at long off, and they'll get one run. The best thing he could do at this moment Give strike to Adil Ahmad. Rashad, this time to the danger man, Ahmad. And this is a very wide ball outside the off stump. A gift there. That's one run, and the ball to be re-bowled. Perhaps Rashad's thinking there was to bowl as wide as he could within the train tracks to give Adil the smallest chance of punishing him out of the ground. Seven runs, five balls. Who could have thought? Rashad, Dark Mad. This one's a little bit closer to the stumps. In fact, Ahmad has missed it uncharacteristically. It's just gone through to the keeper outside the off stump, and it's a dot ball. Just one hit away from the win. A lot of power in that stroke, but failing to connect. Rashad. I believe the over from Lukman making things a bit changed as we have taught from the beginning. Rashad now. It's a ball just And it's a six. And it's a. And it's a six. Scores are level. Never seen such things. Never ever. I don't believe I'm going to see something else in the future like this. Adi Lakmad may have taken one dot ball to get his eye back in. That was pummeled straight down the ground. And SG Findorf wondering how this could have happened. Here comes Rashad. And this ball is just outside it's the It's a six. It's another six. And the win. And that is the win to PSV, PSV Hunmunden with two balls to spare. They finish on 152 for the loss of no wickets. T10 at its best. 146 and they are 9.4 was 152. SG Very well played by Adil Ahmed. As I mentioned in the beginning, the only hope is Adil Ahmed if this guy is going to stay. So anything can happen. As it's the two unbelievable. Batsmen, Ahmed and Hafiz walk off 113 and 23 respectively. Our score, Meda can't believe it. It's, it's unreal. It's just unreal what we just observed. Maybe SGF was just taking it. SGF was taking it too easy. They gave the ball to Lukman, who got 29 runs in one over. PSV, Hanmund and 152 for the loss of no wickets. In 9.4 overs, man. 9.4 overs. They got two balls left. Imran Hafiz, 25 from 22. Played an excellent supporting role there with two fours and one six. To Adil Ahmad, who really, you could just look at the scorecards: 25 from 22 and 119, 39 balls. 
who could allocate most of the kudos and grace for this win with his 119 spectacular run inning. Not out. Not out, undefeated, 39 balls, 7 fours and 13 sixes with an eye-watering strike rate of 305.12. Did not bat. Well, the rest of <laughs> the whole PS4 the batting PS4 lineup. Hunmund and team, I don't think they'll be too upset that they didn't need to bat here. I think PS4 has learned from their mistakes in Hanover hit out T10 tournament. And they have worked out their but if this thing happens again, that will be tough. I mean, Adi Lamont, you can't just rely on him for every time. The others have must also take their part. Too many drop catches, sloppy fielding. The total would have been maybe 100, 110 if they would have taken all the catches or maybe half of them. And to the bowlers, well, there were no wickets to report of. And I suppose the best economy rate with Iftika Khan, who conceded 9.5 for his two overs. Rashad Mahmood, 1.4 overs for 18 runs, with an economy rate of 10.8. And then a few very questionable overs there. Lukman Ahmed with 29 from his over. Shakat Ashraf, 25 from his over. Farouk Amari, 18. And Amar Khalid, 12. So That's... Just look at these uh, two overs from Lukman Ahmed and Shapkat Ashraf. Uh, they shared uh, 54 runs in two overs. So that's the whole story of the match. Well, we hope our viewers enjoyed this European Cricket Network Dream 11 match between PSV Hanmunden and SG Findorf with PSV Hanmunden winning the game by 10 wickets with two balls to spare. Thank you for your company and we look forward to your company for... Match four. That would be MT4 and PS4. Again, a dilemma. Are we going to see another century there? Here's hoping. <laughs> okay, then see you then. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back.
Hello and welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Cummerfield Match 4 today with PSV Han Munden going up against MTV, MTV Stallions I'm here with Sharu Sharu, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks James. Did you uh, catch much of that last innings from PSV? I did, I did some beautiful shots there from both sides. Yeah, so it was pretty destructive. Uh, I thought maybe 140 was two was going to be it. too much for PSV to chase, but uh, one man almost did it on his own. That was crazy. Uh, from that uh, was. Deal Ahmed, 100 up, first century of the weekend. That's always good. 100 and T10 is never an easy task, is it? No, no, not at all. What are your thoughts on this match? I think anything could happen. The bowling side's in good form, so if they keep up with that. Yes, indeed. And uh, MTV had a pretty big loss in their first up match, which is quite surprising for me after they made it to the finals during the Hanover hitouts. So they'll be looking to perform a little bit better than that. Let's hope the wind turns their way. Yes, indeed. So it's Bazzett, the... I guess he's not under 19 anymore, but former under 19 player. Is that the non-strikers in? I'm just trying to see who that is over there at the opposite end. But this will be our last match today, and thank you all for tuning in. If you're in on YouTube, on European Cricket Network, www.ecn.cricket, watching throughout Asia on Fancode, or to our viewers in the UK on Free Sports, welcome along as we get set to begin the final match. Right, and we are about to get underway with the very first ball here. Safi's starting with the ball, a rapid, rapid opening bowler. First ball. Ooh, that's a very wide, slower ball. Bit of a mix-up for his first ball. Signaled wide by the umpire. So MTV, get the innings under the way. Not the ideal way to start your innings. No, definitely not. You want to watch those extras, don't you? Yes, indeed. Only 60 balls in innings. You don't need to be bowling anymore. Yeah. Well, it's put in short. It's hit up high. There's a fielder trying to get under it. Oh, and he just oh, can't ball, quite ball. settle underneath it. So a let off early on for MTV. How would you rate his chances on that catch there? A little bit tricky or? He sort of lost his, lost his footing there a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, he never really got comfortable underneath it. How do you find it behind the stumps earlier today? You have some uh, rapid opening bowlers with your team and you're getting a lot of heat in your gloves. That's true, I've been peppered all over <laughs> my legs. <laughs> Just looking at your <laughs> right knee, you have a massive, bru oh geez, two massive bruises. <laughs> I should really catch it, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> As the bowler comes in again. Which is that one in short. Batsman has a wild swing as it doesn't connect through to the keeper. So, Bezard on strike. Batsman short again. Hit down to the man at. Mid on, no run there, dot ball. It would be good for them to capitalise on these chances in the very beginning of the innings. Yes, indeed. You don't want to let too much get away from you. No easy opportunities. That one's a bit fuller and a bit wider. Single wide by the umpire. And how was it out there playing in the first match of the day? Any nerves? 
I wouldn't say nerves, but it was definitely a, a good start for us to go out there, especially in our fielding. I think we fought back well in our bowling. We just didn't have enough runs, to be fair. This ball comes in again. Slow ball this time. Hit down the ground. There's no fielder protecting down there, so that'll be first boundary of the match. Four runs. Job there by Bezit. The two men are outside the circle right now. Is that third man and long on? Nope. Where's the other person outside the circle? Oh, it's had a deep extra cover. So, yeah, so no, no protection. If he wants to hit it long straight. Ooh, and he's a little bit wayward there. It's the third wide of this over. Long first up over. It's probably do do good for the confidence of MTV. They got hammered in that first match. And there's not uh, much dew on the field as this morning as yeah. well. So it does help with the bounce. Yes, indeed. It's a lot hotter and sunnier now. Another short one, hit hard down the ground. That should clear the rope. See what the umpire signals. Nope, four runs. So Baz has got his eye in early. Need to watch out, he can be quite destructive here. And that's the end of the very first, very good first over. Just going back to your bruise, I also remember yesterday you had one on your toe. Oh, you got your toe taped up now. Yeah, I had a yoka for me as well during training on Friday, so, so it's been it's been an engaging weekend. Former <laughs> Afghanistan international bowler, bowled one right on your toe, <laughs> and the bruise on your nose. Oh, that was <laughs> that was a run out chance that the, the the striker basically ran into my face. Thank God I had a helmet on. <laughs> Toughest cricket in Germany. You're listening to here on my left. like Adil's the new bowler. Oh, nada. And spooned up in the air, just fell short of the man at uh, mid on. Crosses for a single, gets Bazit the danger man on strike. And do you play much against these guys or? I haven't played a lot of um, cricket in Germany. I played in the Danish leagues up until now. So it's my first proper season in German cricket. Ah. Well, German men's cricket. Are you going to lose that one? Big swing and a miss. Took a bit of pace off the ball there. Excellent delivery. Are you also going to be playing for the women's team up here or THCC? Yes, that's or? Um, no, for Cars Foul, we're planning to build a team. Oh, oh nice. So I've got a couple of women interested. Oh, good stuff. One's full outside the off stump, hits it down the ground, a late call. From, or late, late run from the non-striker, but it was safe in the end. Call man, I didn't hear you. This is, uh, just heard it on the stump microphone. Batsman here didn't hear that he called for a single. That one hard down the ground. There's no fielder down there, so it should go all the way for four, and it does indeed. And how long have you been in Germany for? About three years three now. Three years. Just over, yeah. Quite a wide delivery there, not signaled by the umpire though. It is quite hard to pick up those edges when the wind's blowing the way it is. Yep. So just heading into the YouTube chat for the first time this match, Bobby Singh is asking who actually won the toss here. As Bolo comes in again this time, full of delivery, good delivery there, nice line and length. Batsman plays and misses. Um, MTV won the toss and elected the bat, so, the, yeah, the batting team. Commentators, who are they? Well, I'm James, and this is Charu from KSV.
Is it? Is that, am I pronouncing it correctly? Okay. Daru? Yeah, sure. Okay. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. You played a bit in the UK as well. Yes, while well, I was at university there. When whereabouts was that? Uh, in Essex. Essex. How's the cricket in Essex? A lot of fun <laughs> and a lot more opportunity for us to have games and matches. Obviously, it's England when compared to Germany. Yep. Yeah, I do miss it. Any of your old teammates from Essex watching this morning? I'm not sure. You didn't put the word out? <laughs> so, in the third over here, Wahid is a new bowler. That one's a little bit short, and the batsman plays that high over square leg. It'll go all the way for six. Yes, bit too short that one. Wasn't really anything dangerous. And the batsman does it. It's going along nicely here. Much better there. Pitches that one up on his toes. It's played down the ground. I mean, Zaran will come around, pick that one up just for a single. How often do you get to train a week up here? Uh, twice a week. Twice a week? During the summer. It's a nice ground to train on. You use the hall in the winter as well? Yes, we do. Yeah. We've got two outdoor teams. <laughs> That one's going wide of the captain. He dives to his right. Couldn't quite get to it though. Really good effort though. Yes, good effort indeed. Probably, I mean, they ended up winning that last match in the end, but he must have been disappointed with their fielding. They dropped a lot of catches. I think five catches in one over as Meta to my right nods with a smirk on her face. Bowler replaces his mark. One tucked down to fine leg, no single there. Uh, question from Joel, how's domestic cricket in Germany? Do you play test cricket and ODIs too? Test cricket definitely don't play, they're not a test playing nation. Um, but yeah, Germany plays one day internationals, T20s. There's a 50 over league here, a T20 league as the bowler comes running in. Short one again, played to the man at deep square leg. Oh, just crossed for a single. Um, yeah, this season I don't think there's a 50 over league because of COVID-19. I think they're only going to have a T20 league. But yeah, no, they certainly play all, both the T20 and 50 over, but not test. Bobby's asking, what I like to bat or bowl first on this pitch. I'll pass that question to you. You know this pitch better than me. It's your home ground. <laughs> that one's cut between the man at point and gully for four. What would you do generally? Definitely bat first. Definitely bat first, post a target. Yeah, especially in shorter formats because you know what you're defending. And with the bowling lineup like ours, I would definitely bat first. I never really thought about what I'd do first. I've never had to think about <laughs> it for a long time. Uh, yeah, I think most teams in T10 want to put a target on first and try and defend it in the field. From a comment from G.H. Bennett, great to see a woman keeper. She looked very assured behind the stumps. There have been quite a few, a lot of uh, positive comments about your keeping. People are quite impressed. Thank you. Myself included. Thanks, James. <laughs> it's nice to have the opportunity to take part in a tournament like this, definitely. Yeah, good stuff. Short again. Just goes through to the...
That one squeezed through down to the backward square for another single. Um, how many square meters is the pitch? Well, standard length. I'd, do you mean the field or just the pitch? The field, field is pretty small though. Do you know what the dimensions are? I reckon about 50 meters on the leg side. I think that's generous. Yeah. I think 15 meters is maybe a bit generous on the leg. Maybe 40. But it's your ground. Do you say 50? I'll take your word for it. So Bezard is on strike. Good length there. He wanted to try and get under it. Couldn't quite get around to it though. So a good start this one from the Stallions. Going at 10 and over at the moment without losing a wicket. Once again, the short ball is high up in there. There should be a wicket. It is indeed. I just gave him the commentator's curse. He looked to hook that one again. Just popped up straight in the air. And you'd have to say a very easy take for the keeper. Yeah. Pretty easy, but you still have to get under it, don't you? Yes, indeed. I've seen many a keeper drop him. So 20 runs there for Buzzard. See who the next specimen out is. And a much needed break as well for PSV. Yeah, after three overs having not collected a wicket, things could have got. It looks like Farouk hitting out there with the shiny new head. Farouk, one of the top scorers from the Hanover hit out. How come you didn't play in Hanover? Well, our first keeper was available then, so. Oh. Yeah. Then did you poison him for this week? Or? <laughs> that one's flicked off the legs into the fence. Beautiful shot there. Nicely controlled. Six runs. What, what do you think the pass score on this ground would be? That's another question from one of our viewers. I mean, what is it in the T20s here? It's funny though, because I've watched a lot of T20s here and it's still around 150. Well, last weekend, the weekend just gone, or the weekend before that, sorry, the, our first team hit 285 in a Ooh. T20 game. 285 here? Yeah. Who are you playing? Um, SC Europa. Oh. We'll see them in action tomorrow, I believe. Hopefully they've learnt. But yeah, pass score's t tough to say. I mean, it is short boundaries, and I mean, the first two matches weren't really much of an indication as the ball comes in this time. Good length there. Farouk can't really get to it. So yeah. I agree. Yeah, Tyson's saying 120, 125. I'd, I would think over 110 should be par. But these teams, a lot of them haven't played much T10 before, so they're still adapting. One moving into the batsman, lays down to Cal Corner for a single. I think a minimum of 110 would be good for a T10. Yep. Yep, it's a very well manicured outfield, fast, short grass. Oh, that's a very wide one there. Yeah, so as we were saying before, the boundaries are relatively short here, especially square. It's, it's a common place in Germany. You sort of take the take the land you get given and put a cricket wicket in it. So square is probably around 40 straight, maybe 45 to 50. 
He hits that one to that square boundary you just mentioned. One bounce, four runs. So ball coming in again. This one. A bit fuller on the stumps. The captain's coming under it and he takes it. Good work there from Amin Zadran. Coming in off the long on boundary. And picks up the wicket of Suraj. Yeah, just didn't quite middle that one. Came off sort of the side of his bat. And the captain leading by example, he's generally pretty safe under the high ball. Showing his team how it's done. Is it your first time playing a T10? It is indeed, yeah. Yeah, for a lot of these guys it is, how'd you find it? For a keeper it's probably okay, you're not having to stand down there so long, <laughs> getting too many more bruises on your legs. That's true. Yeah, no, it's, it's a nice 90 minute time limit and it's perfect for cricket I think tucks that one behind square takes off quickly for a single wants to come back for a second but it's not on there yes yeah, especially in, in Europe where most people haven't seen cricket before it's a lot more appealing and attractive for them to watch it or to understand watching a match for 90 minutes rather than for four hours Absolutely, yeah. Another full delivery. Good line and length there, but the keepers have missed it. Luckily, there's a fine leg in place. Bit of a mix up. But he makes it down to the non strikers in safely. Oh, that's a short one, a wide one, and signalled by the umpire. The good length balls on the on this pitch tend to bounce up a bit more. Yeah, I noticed that in the first match, the ones sort of by the crease. Once again, yep, signal wide. Yeah, I was watching that first match, and someone had pitched the ball up, and it just spikes up off the off the ground. Any reason for that? It's just an uneven bounce, I think. Yeah. Do you know what's underneath this wicket? Is it concrete or it bricks? Is, or? It is concrete. Yeah. yeah. It does tend to stay low in some spots as well. It's not as easy to bet on as people may think. <laughs> That one's full outside of off. Plays down to the man at long off for a single. Lower ball, a bit too full though. That's when there's no trouble playing that down to the backward square for four. It's 
It's all about clever bowling as well in T10, I think. Yeah, a lot do of... You, do you go after the wickets or do you try to contain the runs? Yeah, that, that's a very good point because, I mean, it's only 10 overs, so wickets aren't quite as important as they are in a longer format. So it's more about containing the batsmen. I mean, dot, dot balls are very valuable here. And uh, a lot of variation is always good. Lays that one down the ground. Long on's down there though, so it'll just be a single. Especially as the ball doesn't have enough time to get old. No. No, not at all. Full ball again, slower again, and dispatched again. It's not quite working for him, that slower ball. That one bounces over into the neighbouring field. He tried that earlier on the first ball of us over. That one went for four. This one's gone for six. This time it's the uh, captain out there, Gorav, finding his first boundary of the match. So welcome Michael Daub into the chat. If you have any uh, comments for your daughter, I can pass them on. That one's on the batsman toes. He plays that nicely to point. Four runs. Good placement there as well. Yeah, split the two fielders as well played. Nice Yorker delivery and he uh, dealt with it. So one delivery to come in this over. Just a bit of all time, Fuller. Play down the ground, too long off. Thinks about a second. Sides against it. And that's the end of the over. 65 for two after six. Four overs remaining. What's your projection from here? 24 more balls left. You're on 66. I think they'll be able to get a 125, 130. Yep, well, you think if they go one a ball, that will get them up to... 90, but it currently they're going at 11 and over, so yeah, 120, uh, all right, I'm going to say 113, you? 125. 125, meter? 119? All right. 113, 119, 125. Loser buys beer. <laughs> I mean, they've still got a lot of wickets in hand, and you we'll see how it goes. Do indeed, and they have some big hitters over down the order as well. And they'll be desperate to improve on there. It was quite upsetting. Ooh. First match, he was a bit too early on that pull shot there, was Gorov. It was there to be hit, but it was deceived. Doesn't connect with that one anyway, but ooh, a sneak through for a single. Look, there's a man backing up. Good job. Try to sweep that one down. Didn't quite connect. Swings hard of that one. Gets the toe edge to it. Goes down to deep square leg. Just one run there. Very well, 
your red ball. He hits that one high, hard down the ground. Six runs, great shot there from the captain as his teammate tries to avoid it while he's sitting on the chair down there. You like that one? That was a good shot. Clean, straight. It was meant to be hit as well. Comment from Cam Allen. Former commentator at uh, ECS St. Gallen. Work sucks after a week of cricket. Need another commentator in Germany. You're always welcome, Cam. Let's have a big swing at that one. Once again, just a tall one. It goes down to the man at the fine league. And welcome to George Wambeck from Pinatar Pirates, tuning in from Spain. And welcome to all our listeners wherever you are in the world watching on YouTube or on www.ecn.cricket to our viewers in Asia and India on Fancode and to those tuning in from the UK on FreeSport happy to have you here feel free to ask me some comments in the YouTube chat or for maybe more interesting ask Sharu some comments she's the keeper for KSV this morning happy to hear from you hashtag ask Sharu <laughs> nice full delivery played down the ground by Gaurav to a long off just for a single there Quite like that kit of uh, PSV. This one around the left arm over the wicket, sorry. Gets an edge, misses the man there at third man and runs for four. That's the uh, danger of these short boundaries. Couldn't quite haul that one in. Yeah, a bit unlucky there. He nearly got it. Captain just having a talk to his teammate out there in the middle. That boundary is quite hard to defend as well because you've got fast bowlers, a bouncy pitch, and a shot boundary. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can be quite tricky down there. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, shout for Albie W. I'm not sure what he is thinking. He's coming, well, he's left arm over. Pitched outside, hit him outside. I guess that's why no one else joined in on the uh, appeal. Okay, and we've already been through the ground dimensions three times. He plays that one on the offside. He's a fielder down there and he takes it. So Gurov, the captain, has to go. He looked to clear the deep extra cover boundary but picked out the man instead. And that's the end of the captain's innings. But yeah, the boundaries are about from 40 to 50 meters. 50 being the longest straight boundaries. So who's the new batsman out there in the middle? Looks like Bridges at the non-strike in as the batsman cross Rooks on strike. Big swing, no ding. Ball comes in again this time. On his legs, time he pulls that square of the wicket. There's a field chasing after it. Will he get to it? Yes, he does. Holds up before the boundary. The best one come back for a second. Yeah, 
So that's the end of the eighth over, 84 for three. As a reminder, I predicted 1-1-3. One, one, Were you 1-1-1-2-5 one, 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 for Shadow five. and 1-1-9 one, one, for Meta? You might just be right. Standard. <laughs> So spin into the attack here. The one's flying it up, it's high up in the air. Field is running. Oh, great catch! What right, a man there at fine leg. I wasn't sure he was the right man to be going after it, but he proved me wrong as he does his COVID protocol foot tap there. That was this catch. Brilliant. Well watched, well moved. Yeah, he had a lot of ground to cover there. But always kept his eyes on the ball. It's uh, Stallions are four down. Looks like Shaquille is the new bat, number 13. Unlucky for some, not for him. You a superstitious person? Not, not a lot, no. Would you wear number 13? Yeah, I would, yeah. This new batsman tries to heave this down to Cal Corn. Doesn't get under it though. It'll just be a single. So he'd say 110, 104 is do you know's prediction. Just, things are just slowing down a bit. Earlier they were going at. Well, I guess they're still going at 10, 10 and over. Doesn't quite connect with that one there. All the darts in a little bit faster. Money doesn't even believe they'll break 100. Comes down the wicket to meet this one. Once again, down to that field there at long on. Just a single. So good over so far this one for Polizei Sports Rhine Han Munden. Do you know where Han Munden is? I'm not too sure. Yeah. No. Okay, I thought you were from. Between Hasse, Kassa and Göttingen. So Niedersachsen, yeah. Short one this time, tucked behind square. They'll look for two here. And they should get it comfortably, they do indeed. Good running as well. Good running from these batsmen. Also the run rate's gone down a little bit. Yeah, it's been a good over so far this one. Just as I say that, he cuts that one over point for six. Umpire out there is Hassan from, was he the president of the cricket? He is, yes. yes. There's a lot of work around here getting cricket up and running a few years ago and the club's doing very well. Yeah, we started in 2017, so it hasn't been really that long. No. Is that all, 2017? Yeah. In three years, you've managed to get a... Well, like most clubs in Germany, if you're watching, uh, don't have... Well, don't have fields. And if they do have a field, they don't have a permanent wicket. So, so yeah, good job for three years to be... Having yeah. A yeah, it's a lot of work put into it as well, definitely. Hopefully we'll have a women's team up and running soon. Yeah. It's a new women's team that started in Bavaria and uh, Regensburg. So the game is growing here. So into the final of the other evening. Score on 94 for 4. Looks like Safi's going to bowl. Sure one there hit hard over our heads here. Six runs. Good start to the final over for the Stallions. Yeah, I think your score is maybe a bit too far out. 125. I was being a bit too optimistic there. Yeah. But we were saying earlier, around 110, 120 is the par. Well, what we'd expect to be the par. We're not really too sure, to be honest. 
Oh, and he's got him. Bestman tries the same shot again. There's a wild heave across the line. And his off stump is removed. Here we go, top of off, just where you want it. Not much, not a very good shape into that shot. So, Mr. 777 Prakash, what do you reckon that number's about? I probably lost a bet or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just likes the number seven. Play that one square. He would have been run out there at the non strikers end if it was a direct hit, but they come back for two. Signaled leg buys by the umpire. <laughs> Bassman caught there a little bit ball watching. He should have just been trying to make his way back into the crease. Fortunately, it didn't hit. And also, there was no other field at the bowler's end. Yep. <laughs> There's a big swing of that one. Just avoids the field there. Four runs. Only short boundary there, so when you hit it hard and fast, it's a good chance you're going to win. Two balls, no? Two balls scum, score 106, so you're out. Guess I'll be buying the beer then. <laughs> yes. And this is a no ball here. <laughs> oh, someone's going to get run out here, you'd think. Oh, it's a bit casual about taking out those stumps. The batsman almost got there, but... Uh, he was in the air, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and just trying to pinch a single on the last... Last couple of balls of the innings. Just looking at the replay there. This bowler very relaxed and just whipping those off. But Kesha almost made it, but he has to return. With the way PSV chased the last total, I think 106 should be easier for them this time. What yes, I mean, think? one batsman on his own. How much? He got 120 or something. I can't remember what he uh, got in that last match, though. So. Shouldn't be too much trouble, you'd think, but... That one's comes off the edge of the bat, keeps it after it, and he takes it. Drops off one glove to go for the run out, but uh, ends up taking the catch instead. So, the final score, 106 for the loss of 7. Yeah, that's pretty close. But, uh, maybe a little bit under par, you think. Especially with the batting we saw last time from PSV. It's going to be a hard job for MTV, definitely. Gonna need to be have some pretty disciplined bowling. You like we like soaring, uh, seeing that batsman. Sorry, I can't rem remember his name. It was uh, Adil Ahmed. Love playing at square of the wicket. So need to work out a plan to keep him from scoring over the fence here. <laughs> Just wait for the uh, batting scorecard to come up, and we'll go through this innings.
So, so just looking at the batting scorecard there, no real standout performances. Suraj 20 off 13. Buzzer started off well, got the innings going, 20 after 12. Farouk, 23 off 15. The captain, Gurav, 21 after 11 before he got caught. The golden duck for Riesh. And then just a 7 to 4. Not much happening there if you want to uh, go through the go through the bowling there. Any standouts for you? Two wickets for Avat as well. And then ev everyone's got a, a piece as well except for Daoud. So they've all had a little bit of influence on the bowling attack yeah just that one expensive over there from Zadra that was Zadran 19 runs coming from it good over there from Zahir Khan one wicket seven runs but yeah pretty pretty balanced bowling attack or bowling effort so we'll be back with you in about 12 minutes time to take you through the chase join us then
And welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series. Kummerfeld, live from Kummerfeld Sportsverein here in the north of Germany, about 30 to 40 minutes north of Hamburg. We're about to begin the chase of the final match for today. The matchup between MTV Stallions and PSV Hartenmünden. MTV winning the toss, licking the back first and putting up 106 runs in their 7 overs. My name is James and joining me here again is Sharu. Welcome aboard. Hello, hi. So you predicted 125, you'd say maybe a little bit underdone? Yeah, way off. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we saw the destructive batting of PSV in the previous innings where they brought up the first century, actually first century post-COVID lockdown by a player in our T10 series. And that was... was by uh, Adil. Surprisingly not opening the batting here, but I guess they stick with their order. Though he did open the batting last match as well, didn't he? Yeah, not sure why he's not opening here. Anyway, first ball in. Inside the out wide line there. Good start up delivery. That's when his big swipe there. Doesn't connect. As we see Bandana Man heading back to his crease. MTV will be looking to bounce back up from that first loss they had. Really dented their net run rate. Yeah, yeah. One again outside that wide line. This one's a little bit wider. Man, that third man picks that one up for a single. Possibly could have been called wide if he didn't connect with it. Quite a bit of a way movement there from the bowler. I think the first few overs are key to defending that total. Yeah, get him under pressure early. Maybe pick up a wicket or two here as he comes running in again this time. Pretty much the same, same delivery there. He's a uh, length right, line and length. Moving away from the right hand batsman. Two men outside the circle at the moment are that third man and. Must be. Down here at Long On, I can't quite see the corner at Long On, but I've been told there's a fielder down there. So he's done three balls wide outside of off. Will he go up for fourth? Yes, again, very similar delivery. It's a very good bowling first up, sticking to his line and length. Batsman's not comfortable playing it outside off there. Four very similar balls in a row. Just a one run so far from this first over. Good start up over from Ujval. Ooh, tries a bit of a slower ball this time and doesn't quite execute it nicely. And it's a uh, very wide, that one. You could sense he was probably going to change up something there after doing four deliveries the same. Thought maybe he'd bring one back into the batsman, try to slow a ball. Idea was right, just didn't quite execute. Probably carried away a little bit by the wind as well. Yeah, bit of a breeze going across the pitch. That one was on the pads this time. Gets the outside edge down to third man for another single. That gets the side off the mark. That's what, that's what you want to do, just ball on the stumps, put the pressure on the batsman. Yep, make him play a shot. Once again, another flying edge. Third man's been busy down there. So, an excellent first up over that one. 
for MTV Stallions in Ujval. A few runs coming from at three. Required run rates at 11.34, so you'll take that as a bowling team. Let's see who will be. It looks like Farouk's going to be his first uh, bowler. Let's see, first from the other end, it's the same end, but the second bowler of the match. His umpire Hassan disinfects the ball. Farouk did say earlier as well that he was definitely going to ball without a cap on to confuse the batsman with the, the shine. Bit of shine <laughs> off his head. <laughs> nice strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a shiny head. Which is that one. A little bit short. Quite easy there for the batsman to cut away at that and a misfield down there. Brings up their first boundary of the match. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice outfield. There's no really real excuse for not throwing your body around on it. It's well looked after. Ooh. Pitches this one up. Was that bat though on it? I'm not sure. First thought was bat. What do you think? I did hear a noise, yeah. Could have been. See on the replay. I still don't know from that, I can see it. Um, might, have, might have been his leg, actually. It was his leg, it looked like it was... Or the pad. Yeah. What do you reckon? Maybe it was out then if he didn't get bat on it, because it looked quite in front to me. a little bit wide there and signaled by the umpire. Yeah. So Farouk coming in again. This one outside of off, he's just not enjoying this ball outside of off, none of them can really, neither of these batsmen have really been able to do too much with it. So, uh, comment in the chat, Holland, nope, we're in Germany, all the way up north of Hamburg. Thanks for tuning in, Ben. This is one in shorter. That's been couldn't quite click with it. So a very slow start here from PSV, Polizei Sportsverein. Been told there are actually no police in the team. Oh, I would have thought. Which one do you think would have been the police officer? Probably the guy who got the sentry. <laughs> Bit of an enforcer, you reckon? <laughs> no, that one was uh, a little bit wide again. Another wideness over. These wides are going to be a little bit costly here. M that might just be the key to them putting the pressure back onto the fielders. Yes, indeed. I mean, with just the three runs coming from that first over, now seven runs already this over, with two balls to go. A bit of relief for PSV. He's coming right arm around the wicket. That's yeah, a much better ball. They just can't seem to play anything on the offside here. Team is bowling to a plan. This is good work from the captain Gurav. He's obviously instructed them where to bowl it. Shame he didn't quite connect that because there's quite a big gap between point and third man. Yep, good gap there. And with the angle from coming around the wicket, it's a little bit easier just to glide it through there. But like I said, he's struggling with the offside shots at the moment. 
pushes that one in shorter, wants to hook that one square of the wicket, trying to, bit of frustration maybe there from the batsman. He's definitely going for his shots as well. I think he would have been better cutting that one on the offside, use the angle from the bowler. I mean, it's only a short boundary, so just quite easily get it over those two men inside the circle there. But it brings to the end another over, 11 for none after two, chasing 107 for the victory. Both batsmen going a little bit slowly, Mustafa 6 after 8, and the side only the one run from three deliveries. Looks like Prakash is the new bowler. Mr. Mangal's Kitchen, very nice uh, Indian restaurant in Hanover. This one's a bit short and a bit wide and head over the net for six. I'm sure that one wasn't to the captain's bowling plan. He was telling him to pitch it up short and pitch it up full and wide. That was just too short. An easy one there for the batsman. Six runs signalled by the umpire. So let's see what he can do this time. Here we go. He's trying to get it fuller on the off stump. Just got to be careful not to pitch it in too short there. Stick to the bowling plan. Here we go. Full ball, but well played this time. Drives that one through the offside for four. So batting's starting to pick up a little bit here. Yeah, building up that confidence slowly. With the change in the batting order as well, so. Yeah, wondering if uh, Adil was feeling a little bit tired after his blistering 120 runs in that previous match. Or saving himself for the next few games over the week. Yeah, a lot of cricket this week. 20, 20 matches all together, around the belt. Four a day. Monday to Friday. Is that one short again? Couldn't quite connect. They get through for a single. A little bit of a crash between the bowler and the batsman there. No harm done. Yes, yeah, so just taking a look at our schedule. Four matches every day. On Friday we have the semi-finals, third place final and the final before heading back to Prague for some more cricket. This one's short and wide again. Cuts down to the man. Third man, a hit here would be out. Oh, an awkward bounce to the man backing up. Allows him to sneak through for that single in the end and no one's watching it at non-striker's end. Could be another run out this time and there is a run out. What a disaster. That is European cricket for you, a mix-up at both ends. Should have been run out once, tried to sneak through for another single and got stumped out to keeper's end. It was a good pick up and throw to the keeper. And uh, after, they started looking, after they started to look a little bit better, they've just gone and given away their wicket. Sort of like a volley in tennis. First this way and then that way and then back again <laughs> yes. and then you have the run out. So whoever held on to their nerves till the very end wins. <laughs> yeah, it was a risky run at first. A direct hit from Gurab would have had him out. Then an awkward bounce allowed him to get the one overthrow. They went back for a second after a shy at the stumps. Bit of confusion. And you saw the result. So, in comes a danger man, Adil Ahmed, who scored that blistering century in that previous match. Can he pick up where he left off? I'm sure the Stallions have uh, got a bowling plan for him after watching him on, from the sidelines that previous match.
So Adil Ahmed on strike, first ball. Oh! Just bounced over to Stumps. I'd love to see a replay of that one. He wanted to swing that one over the deep square, over the deep square leg boundary. So we look at it again here. Unlucky for the bowler. Whoa. That's that uh that's that bump you're talking about, the fuller bump how it just spikes up off the pitch. Yeah, exactly, yeah. On a grass wicket that would have stayed low and uh, knocked his wickets over. But yes, I'd say another over there towards MTV Stallions. See, just as PSV uh, was starting to pick up the pace a bit, they lost that wicket in a disastrous occasion. Ben's asking why we don't use a uh, regu regular stumps, and most artificial wickets in Germany, they don't actually, for whatever reason, make the uh, space in the ground for normal peg stumps. So there's no opportunity to stick stumps in the ground, it's, you have to use these stand-up stumps. Although we are redoing the pitch at the end of the season, so we have planned for that. Oh, nice. Very good. Over to the team at Sticky Wickets in the UK and get some nice brand new stumps from them. As the bowler comes in this time, pushes it short and wide. Passman doesn't really make the most of it though. It's a bit of a toe on to it and they get through for a single. Yeah, Sticky Wickets crickets, they're the ones who wrap our nice stream 11 stumps out there in the middle. So... Brings the deal, Danger Man back on strike. Oh, that was a gift for him. It's high up in the air though. There's a fielder under it. It's the captain as well. And he takes it. Very good job. And you can see how relieved they are to get that wicket. Gaurav, the captain, leading by example. Takes a good catch down there at the long on boundary. It wasn't the best of deliveries, you have to admit. Sometimes they're the ones who get the wickets. So yeah. after scoring a century in his last match, he moves, gets out for a duck, and this one, real humbler. Yeah, he didn't quite get enough on it. Nope. It's a bit of a gift delivery as well. He'll be, he'll be happy with himself. Anyway, gives the rest of his batting line up a chance to shine now. New batsman heading out to the middle is Awal Khan Safi. Which is that one in tucked square behind, or tucked to square for a single. The new batsman on strike, wasn't it? Stuffy on strike already. I, I no, think Stuffy's on strike now, yeah. So the ball is running in. Oh. Just Lose past the off stump by about an inch there. That's been unable to get anything behind it. Similarly this time. Lays it back as someone stands on the stump microphone. It's a bit different here as well because it's a concrete pitch. We can't put the stump mic right behind the wicket, so it's on that little bit of grass just sort of to the left of where the keeper would stand. It's a little bit uh, vulnerable. Hooks that one square of the wicket, well controlled. Four runs. 
to the police. Zai, what's the run? It's quite courageous to be playing out there without a helmet as well. Yeah, it is indeed. It's a, like I said, it's a very bouncy wicket up with some unexpected bounce. So uh, Ben in the chat's quite happy to hear that you're going to be putting holes in for the stumps. It always does look a little bit more professional when you have them. And it's nice seeing the stumps go flying as well. And they well, you're a wicket keeper. You probably don't like seeing the stumps go flying. <laughs> you're quite happy to be on the springs and not coming towards you. No, it's good we're getting them redone, definitely. It's a pretty cool lawnmower here. It's a big robot lawnmower, and it's just programmed every night it cuts the uh, grass at... 9.30 p.m. or something like that. Well, sometimes earlier during, during training as well, and we're just trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a scary-looking machine. Yeah. Ooh, that one. Yes, it is. Signal wide by the umpire. Yeah, but I believe it's been turned off because we have our camera cables around the ground, so we don't want it uh, turning on at night and... Ruining our cables. Makes sense. Short and wide, and put away. Four runs. We just need to go back to what they're doing in the first overs. Just that full of wide ball outside of off seems to be working really well for them. Perhaps that's what he's trying, he's just not quite executing it. Hashtag save Mark Boucher's eyes. You reckon Mark Boucher would have liked to use spring stumps? That one is fuller, not quite wide enough, and he drives it down to the ground for four. I think any keeper would be happy with him. Current run rate 8.4 and over, a little bit behind the required run rate of 12.3. It is a T10, so his run rates aren't as bad as they sound. We're daunting. That one follows the batsman to the leg side, he plays it down to the ground, the fielder comes around and picks it up. Just be a single there. <laughs> Get a little bit of pad on that. We'll see what a signal is from the umpire. Um, doesn't look like there's any signal, so it must have been off the bat. Oh, wait, no, he is signal. Leg by is there. Short again. Doesn't connect with it, though. None of these batsmen really have had good timing so far in this match, or in this innings. It's making the task a little bit harder for themselves. Yeah, it seems like a completely different team. So he hits that one. Oh, didn't time that one properly either. Just over the head of the man, that extra cover. Long off comes around to pick that one up, just to restrict it to a single. And that's the end of the over. So 42 for 2 after 5 at the halfway stage here. Still anyone's game, I'd say. Maybe a little bit more in the favour of the Stallions. A little bit in favour of Stallions, I'd probably agree with you, especially after getting that big wicket. There's still the captain, Amin Zadran, to come out, and he can hit a, a long ball. Be a pretty collected character. Maybe they're saving the best for the last. Possibly. Oh, 
Tries to have a big swing in it. Lucky doesn't do his shoulder and doesn't connect at all. And he got one plan in mind with that shot. And it doesn't work out for him. Oh, when he gets him, he tries to have another big heave at this time. The timing hasn't been there for him today. Bussett picks up a wicket, further turning the match in the Stallions' favour here. And we did think that score was a little bit under par, so they're doing a good job so far of defending us. It's all ways to go though. I think it's quite important to have tight bowling at this stage as well because it could turn either way. Yep, you don't want to let him sneak in towards the end and at least run a ball. They were lucky to win that last match after their fielding effort from uh, PSV. As we're saying, someone mentioned in the comments here, there was a one over where someone dropped the batsman, or there are four drops in that over. All pretty regulation as well. Mm, love it up ball there for Buzzard. Turning into be a very good over for him. So busted in again. Ooh, a little bit wide that time, and I think the umpire's going to signal a wide. It was indeed. I thought about trying to run an extra as well, but it wasn't there. It's just a one wide. What did that connect with? Was that off his bat or helmet? Anyway, it goes all the way off his gloves, down to fine leg for four. Thought the field was going to run into the pole there for a moment. Have you ever seen that happen before here? No, I haven't, no. It did sound like a helmet, but it definitely was a bat. So unlucky there for the ball. It's good over though. Uh, Batsman now asked for a helmet. Must have heard you. <laughs> so, umpire just signaling that it was four buys. Was it? Leg buys or just buys? It's probably just something the mic picked then. Yep. Once again, wide outside off, this one's high up in the air. The keeper's trying to steady himself under. Oh my gosh. Tell me you would have taken that. Oh, I, I hope so. I hope so. He looks so steady and comfortable underneath it. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Just too relaxed, maybe. I don't know, but he should have taken that. He had plenty of time. As he chews on his glove. Maybe he's chewed a hole in them. So, does it in again. This one's hit up in the air. Should make it to the boundary. Yes, it does. One bounce, four. Making use of his life. Yes, indeed. He'll be disappointed there, Bazzard. He's been bowling well. Should have had another wicket in that over, and instead it went for a boundary. The very next ball. So, 53 is the score. 53 for 3, I believe. Is that, is that, uh... Yeah, 
Scorer's trying to tell me, but I have headphones on. Can't really hear her properly. <laughs> I'll wait for it to come up on my screen. Oh, he comes in. Oh. Nice little outswinger there. Bassman couldn't get anything behind it. He's looking to just smack it over to square. Woody onside. A sidle it is. Sit down to man Farouk who's out there and he takes the catch. Good job there by Farouk. Steadied himself, got down nice and low and took it easily. As uh, PSV is standing in a bit of trouble here, you'd have to think. It does look like a difficult task at hand now. Yep. See who's going up now. Number 78. That would Zadran. He's at the non strikes in though because the batsman crossed. So, four to come in this over. Do one again, just outside off, play down the ground. Probably just a single there. It is indeed. PSV looking a little bit sleepy, and this is their third match of a day here. So they are probably a little bit tired. Idle in again. Oh, that one's a little bit too wide there. Secret wide by the umpire. Will you be keeping again tomorrow? I will, yes, I will. Ah, looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> Set one hard in the offside. Field chasing after it, couldn't get underneath it though. Oh, short of the boundary. Looking for a second, and he's safe, I'd say. If I carry on like today, I'll probably just be black and blue. <laughs> yeah. But you do probably have two of the fastest bowlers in the league here today, in your team. That's true. Not many people can say they've kept to a former international cricketer. Well, he's actually still a current international cricketer because he, he plays for Germany, but a World Cup cricketer. Played in the World Cup against uh, England. He's picked up the wickets of, I think it was... Joss Butler? Joss Butler and... Morgan, was Morgan, yeah. There's another dot ball there for the Stallions. Run rate's now moved up to 15 and over, so it's getting a little bit high here, but I need a big over to bring him back, back into it. He's hit that one down the ground, but there's two fielders there protecting it. Just a single. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next couple of days, actually. Should be quite interesting. Yep, four more days of cricket here, four matches a day, 20 matches in total in this Dream 11 European Cricket Series, live from Kummerfeld. 
My husband will be joining the team on Thursday as well, so we'll be on the same 11. Ah, oh, that should be fun. Always is. It's good that he's in the same team, so he doesn't need to worry about where <laughs> all your bruises come from. <laughs> One more. He did indeed play in the last see in Hanover hit out. One, just inside the lines. Bassman has a big swing and doesn't connect. It's been that trouble area for PSC this whole innings. Again, just trying to get that gap between point and third man. Yeah, they've been uh, pretty disciplined bowling mostly for the Stallions. As far as it comes in, this one is on the stumps. It's played down the ground. Out of my sight and over the captain's head for six runs. Much needed six at this point of the game. Yeah, using the pace off of that one. Still run rate required, 16.5 and over. 44 runs and 16 balls is the equation. That's fine, that's fine. That one signaled wide by the umpire. Trying to put a little bit of extra heat on that ball, usually is the case. Question from uh, Ben in the YouTube comments. Are there rules as to how many pros you can have in each team? I know a lot of club competitions. You can usually, as the bowler comes in this time, once again over the stumps, just not connecting with anything. I know a lot of club competitions. You can usually have one or two pros. Um, n well, actually, I'm not sure, but none of these players would be considered pro cricketers in that sense so say as in the Dutch cricket where they have pro cricketers people that are paid just to play cricket um, as Bezzi comes in again this one on the stumps good delivery this one heads it back to the bowl and they come through for a single uh, some some clubs do pay players here but it wouldn't be enough to to live off it's more help I don't know help I don't know why Bit of an incentive for them to play for the club. But yeah, it's hardly pro cricket. I know KSV, as Bezzer comes in again. This one's a little bit too wide there. Fumbled by the keeper, so he should sneak through for another one here. The KSV have a couple of players that they're paying at the moment. And a few of the other clubs are, but there's not many in Germany. Still very much amateur sport here. I'm definitely talking to the wrong people then. Should really get one of those contracts. <laughs> <laughs> that one will be wide again. So let's see what Bazit can do here. Sort of losing his range a little bit. Nice flight of delivery to that one. Batsman just not connecting with anything this innings. That run rate is ever increasing. It's going to be tough work for them here. Once again, big swing, no ding. They've got no answer to this bowling attack at the moment. It's more just a hope and a prayer for the way they're batting. 
And they're not. Oh, I think they're over halfway there. But still living on a very much a prayer. But with just 12 balls to go, it's a big ask. Yeah, 12 balls, 39 runs. They'll be wanting to get at least 20 from this over, you'd have to think. Looks like it is Farouk coming back into the attack. Farouk's first over, just went for the seven runs and three of those were wide, so if you can get him on target this time. Possibly pick up a wicket as he comes, right arm around the wicket. That one's cut in the offside and taken by the man at point. I thought it was going to go over his head that for a moment. But that's the end of a long and slow innings there for Mustafa. 18 runs off of 17 deliveries. It's only getting harder and harder here. Uh, Bobby, there's six teams in the league. Two of the teams haven't played today. That is uh, SC Europa and VFB Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg, yeah. I think, yeah. They were a late addition to this one as another team was pulled out. I think that's our first game tomorrow against Wolfsburg at 9 a.m. Okay, I don't know much about Wolfsburg. I've never, I didn't even realise there was a club there, but... Uh, Looking forward to it. Let's go up again. The batsman was aware that was going to be a wide. <laughs> Jumps out of the way. Make sure of it. The keeper misses it, and that goes for five wides. Or four wides. Five wides. Sorry. Yeah, batsman was like, nope, I want a free one. And the free one he got. Free five. <laughs> So Farouk again, that one's, oh, was that pitching in line though? Yes, 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 yes. So he would come back for a second on the overthrows. Looked like it was going to hit, but I'm not sure if it maybe it pitched out line. It'll be good to see the replay of that one. Here we go, let's have a look at this replay. Where did it pitch? Oh, I think it was just outside leg stump. What do you reckon? It was going down, yeah. And that's the dot ball. Yeah, if you want to find out what, by what teams are playing in the fixtures, you can head to www.ecn.cricket. You can see all the fixtures there. See match reviews, match previews, highlights. Read about future tournaments. Read about future stars. Maybe read about the first ever woman cricketer in European cricket history. I'm sure there's an article going up about that already, along with some nice photos. That one's played back at the ball. He stops it with his feet. No run there. So let's just have a look. Maybe start thinking about who's the man of the match for this one as it seems to be heading to Stallion's way. Looking at the batting scorecard, no one person in particular stood out. Four of them actually reaching the 20s before falling. So we head over to bowl, see if there's any exceptional performances there. As the route comes around the wicket. Bassman just can't get anything behind it. Subtle Islam, two overs, two for 12. I mean, been pretty balanced bowling all around that. One over from Ujava, one over, none for four. Farouk so far after his 1.5, one over, none, or 1.4, one over, none for one for 12. Any thoughts in the, uh, from you spectators out there? Leave your comments on YouTube. Who you think should be man of the match? This one's, oh, Mangal, he was, uh, Prakash was coming in towards that one. He probably could have just stood his ground and taken that catch quite easily, but he, Took a step forward and it was just out of his comfortable reach. Probably still should have been taken though. 
Let's see if we can see this again on the replay. Yeah, just parries that one over his head. Fortunately, it didn't go to the boundary. Both teams haven't had individual high scores, so it's been a team effort in the batting. Yep. Should maybe look at Buzzett, who's picked up one for 17 off his two, along with uh, useful 24 runs at the start of the innings there when things were going a little bit slowly, sort of started getting it moving. Who was that wind starts blowing all my stuff away? delivery there. Farouk as well though always seems to be in the run for man of the match. Picked up 20 odd runs as well. Two overs, one for 14. So yeah, maybe he'd have a little bit slight edge over uh, Bezard at this point. Slow ball, very slow ball. Too much time there for the batsman. Well executed there by Ujival. We might have to start calling that player of the match soon, won't we? Player of the <laughs> match. Another slower ball. Batsman just plays it down to the ground. Just be a single as we teeter on towards the end of this match. Much needed win for the Stallions. After losing their first match quite comprehensively, they'll be much happier with how they performed in this one. Particularly their bowling. Bowling to a, ta a plan. That wide outside off plan. Really dried up the runs at the start of the innings. Just, I've never seen so many swings and misses. So it's sort of like a record. Yeah. Just can't get anything near this ball. So, a few balls remaining. Full of ball, blade down the ground, long off should pick that one up easily, he does, and it's just a single. <laughs> Last ball of innings, what do you reckon, wicket? Will be interesting, yeah. I hope, disrespectful I hope so. block. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that brings the end to a match, a very one sided th affair in the end. Uh, Salian's happy to come out on top of that one. PSC possibly a little bit tired having played their third match today. Never really got going, never really got much bat behind the ball at all. MTV, comfortable winner here in the end. Man of the match. More. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Bobby Singh there. I'd say Farouk. Farouk's man of the match. He's bowled a nice change up here, plus those 24 runs or so that he got earlier on. So we can give it to, uh, give it to Farouk. So that is indeed our last match of the day. We will have more matches starting again at 9am local time tomorrow. So do join us then. Just wait to see if we can get the uh, betting scorecard up for this thing, just to go over it with you. But it wasn't too much to write home about. 
It's a little bit slow. So here we go. Here's the batting scorecard. So Mustafa, 18 off 17. Strike rate of 105. And then the other forms that would be okay in this form. It's not really good enough. Asad, 12 off 7. Then the big wicket, Adil Ahmed, the century maker from the previous match. Gone. Second ball. Good take by the captain, Gurov, down there on the boundary. Uh, Khan Safi, he was clean bowled by Bazard for 11. Then not much else happening from the tail. They were stuck around for 16 deliveries for his 13 runs, but no one could really get behind the ball at all. So yeah, they'll, they'll be disappointed with their batting effort, and you could say they're a little bit tired. But yeah, so we'll slowly move on to the bowling scorecard. Just wait for that to come up for you on the screen there. But yeah, it was some, uh, some tidy, disciplined bowling there from the MTLV Stallions. Do you want to go through it for us, Sharu? Yeah, Utwal has got really economical there with two overs, only going for six runs. Yeah, just a one wide there as well, good stuff. Yeah. And then Prakash Singh was a bit expensive, but averaging about 11.5 in two overs. Pick of the bowlers, you got the... Uh, between Saddle Islam, well, I guess 2 for 12, or Farouk, 1 for 14. Yeah, all in all, good good set of bowlers, but I think Utvald's done himself really well. Yeah, two overs, none for six. I mean, like we said earlier, dot balls are almost as important as wickets in this format of the game. So it's a uh, yeah, good, good bowling performance all around. They stuck to their plan, they're wide outside of off, and it did the job for them. So if we can just take a look at the uh, Manhattan when that pops up. But uh, I think we all know the story as we see it now. The, uh, the innings of the Stallions, sorry not the Stallions, of the Polizei Sports the Rhine. Only those two overs above 12 and over which is not really good enough in the T10 format. You need a few more than that. And two... Too many overs where they just couldn't get anything on it at all. I mean, you saw that one big over from the Stallions of 18. that really helped them increase their run rate there. But the wickets spread out throughout the innings. Last over sort of says it all. I guess they knew the match was over at that point, but just a couple of runs coming from it. But yeah, so do join us again tomorrow. The first match, which is at the 9... Uh, 9 a.m. Central European Summertime, or 12.30 if you're in India. That will be versus VFB Wolfsburg, who will be their first match of a tournament, versus Kummerfeld Sportsverein, featuring our very own Shiru. So good luck for that matchup. Thank you. Thank you, James. And thank you all for tuning in on the European Cricket Web Network, whether it's been on YouTube, on ecn.cricket, live on FanCode throughout India and Asia, or on Free Sports in the United Kingdom. I will say good night and see you tomorrow.